Welcome back, everybody. We're going to play, shockingly, The Sims 4 today. Should be fun. Happy Friday. Oh, wait till you see this. Hold on. My game, my my computer thinks I'm playing Fave Farm still. I said ew because of this. <laughs> the snow looks kind of gross on the roof, melting like that. Ew. It's not the roof's finest moment. <laughs> it looks kind of like fuzzy. Moldy, almost. Gross. Anyway, hi! <laughs> Welcome back! You got a snack and you're ready? Oh, good! That'll be nice. That'll be fun. I'm excited for this. I love to game. <laughs> I love Not So Berry in general, so it'll be fun. Go see! Thank you, Larissa and Mar with the tier 3 28 months! Thank you so much! We are still kind of on the pink gen. We're in, we're in like the weird, um, the weird overlap of like, we have the peach gen is a teen, and so we're kind of trying to get the peach gen sim aged up so that we can start her stuff. Um, but we're in that weird overlap phase where we, I feel like when you have the air as a teen, it's like their generation's kind of started, you know? So I'd say we're in peach gen now, but <laughs> that's where we're at. I think I'll age her up early too, because I just, I find the teens are, they're teens for way too long. Way too long. I find it boring. So I think after this stream of Not So Berry, I'll probably build the new house and move out. I don't know. Because I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm ready to make the new house and leave. <laughs> hey, Belly, and Justice, Rosie, Paul, Sunny, Beth, Elizabeth, Megan. Thank you all for the subs. Anyway, when are we going to build it? That's what I'm kind of thinking. I, I, what I was saying is after this stream, we'll probably build the new house. So next week, I assume, we'll build the new house, which will be fun. Um, that is the plan. Can we do a grave hunt today? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Nef, Anna, Fifi, Yarn, Jillian, Leona, thank you for the subs. <sighs> Exciting stuff. <laughs> Needed my energy today? Oh, Caroline, I'm having an okay day. I'm sorry about that, but we at least get to play. Yeah, we can use the new kitchen kit for the peach gen. That's kind of what I was thinking. Um, we can probably use the new kitchen stuff for the peach gen. Oh god, now you guys are gonna be excited. What if I end up building the new one today? No, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. But what if I did? I don't know. Now I want to. Oh. <laughs> no, this is bad. We're not ready yet. But we could. Okay, sounds like everybody wants to. So never mind, that's fine. <laughs> okay, maybe I will. Um, okay. Hold on. What I'm about to do will shock you. It's okay. Just hold on. <laughs> Just hold on. One second. Okay. I'll do 160. 160,000 is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I just wanna see how much money we have. And it's kind of fun to get to bulldoze it. Okay, so we have 160,000 simoleons and we can try and build a new peach gen house. <sighs> oh no. <laughs> you were scared? Yeah. Was anybody else scared? <laughs> no, I usually build it in a different save too. Um, and then we come back and move it in afterward. So anyway, hope you can't be serious. Do you have this shirt too? No way. No, you can't be serious. Me and Hope, I keep buying. <laughs> Hope, <laughs> I keep buying all these clothes on ThreadUp from Madewell that Hope has, that Hope bought from Madewell full price. <laughs> and I bought this, I bought this t-shirt from ThreadUp, but um, it is Madewell. Is that, do you, do you have this shirt too, Hope? I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm not doing it on purpose. It's just that like, I, it happened somehow. I've, I've bought the same shirt that Hope already has like three times without knowing. And then Hope will be like watching my video and send me a, a picture of herself in the same shirt and be like, look what you've done again. <laughs> me and Hope are the same deep down. We are exactly the same. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna build the new house in Tartosa. That was the plan. I think that's a confirmation that Hope does in fact have the same shirt. That this makes the third, this is the third one. No, it's not even deep down. Me and Hope are just the same. It's not a deep down thing. It's a surface level and everything in between. We are the exact same person. Just carbon copy me and Hope. <laughs> it's really weird. Sometimes, 
Um, when we were, so Hope and I have like stayed up until midnight to listen to the new Taylor Swift albums the past couple times. Um, and we'd be like in the group chat with me and Hope listening to like Speak Now, the re-recording when it first came out. And multiple times during us listening to the re-recording, we said the exact same thing at the exact same time. Like had like initial word for word instant reactions with like a weird niche reference. And it's, it's kind of scary. <laughs> Because we were, like, exactly the same deep down. <laughs> anyway. Um, oh, hi, Kayla. Can you bother me for five minutes? Uh-oh. That depends. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Speedy, Madison, Blue, and Spark, thank you for the subs. Oh, she's serious. Hello. Hey, I need you to do something for me. Okay. I'm about to send you something in okay. Discord. Okay. And... I need you to open your, you have your game open because mm -hmm. I, I can see that. Can you build this? Because it won't let me build this. Okay. It's short. <laughs> okay. It's a short. And if you can build this, I don't want to be your friend because I've been sitting here for 40 minutes trying to build this pool. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Hold on, I need to see what happens first. I'm watching the short. Okay. Okay, we're making a pool. It looks cute. I'm trying to make my toddlers be able to play in the pool at home. Uh-huh. And this person is claiming that they can do it. And my chat is saying that they've done it because we've been watching this video for 40 minutes. I can't get it to work. Okay. I'm still watching. I didn't put any sound on. It's, you can barely hear it. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks cool. Let's find out. Oh my god. You've been spending 40 minutes on this? I- the, the, we've just been over here anxious because I can't get it to Hold work. On. let me get a sim. <laughs> I'm gonna need a toddler. <laughs> I've been over here and I'm like, when Kayla goes live, please tell me because I need to see if it's just me. And I need you to are, see if your grass turns yellow. My grass is turning yellow. This. Okay, I'm hold on. I'm waiting. I got my sim. I'm gonna find okay. out. <laughs> I'm going to be so mad. I literally have been just trying over and over again, and I can't get this to turn into a pool that my toddlers can play in. It's a cool concept. People do all kinds of fun things with pools, like all kinds of magical, fun little tricks. Yeah. Shella says that you've been hard to watch. <laughs> it is, I have been over here struggling this entire time. I have been struggling to get this to work. And Shella, you could have just helped me. <laughs> Instead, Shella just watched. It was like, wow, this is embarrassing for you. It's embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. They had it kind of like, you know, they had a little pool kind of around it, kind of like this. And then, mm -hmm. and then they took like the little terrain paint, right? No terrain manipulation. What am I doing? Yeah. Terrain manipulation. And we can do a little square. Okay. Your grass is turning yellow. Uh-huh. We need to lower it by like. They did two. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not very good with terrain manipulation. I feel like. So to be fair, they use the second to last one where it's like that square at the top. It's like flat into something. Uh huh. And then you yeah. they put it like down twice. Two. They went down twice. Yes. And then we have to make her the same. You're having the same. What the? But mine put... wouldn't do that. And then... There's no way. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no! Oh my god. <laughs> no. I can't, it's not working for me. I'm not making this up. Let me pull your just, stream, hold on. I have just been sitting here. I'm gonna let you watch me. Okay. I have just been sitting here trying so hard to get this to work, okay? Uh -huh. Look, I've got my grass. Uh-huh. I'm clicking it, it turns yellow. Cool, whatever. Control, down, down. Wait, it's so high up, it's embarrassing me. Look at this, it's embarrassing me. <laughs> okay, let's go back up one. But Watch we'll it down work two. as soon as I start it watching. Works, I'm gonna work. be so mad. <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad, but I'm gonna make this smaller, right? Oh my God, it would not do that. It wouldn't go down. Okay, so that's the first time it's gone down? It wouldn't. It would only do one little square. Okay. And so, but wait. 
<laughs> okay. It's it won't let me do the the edges. You see how you could do? Oh my god. It wouldn't. It wouldn't let oh. me do. It won't let me do the edges of mine. Like I can't flatten the entire thing out. That's Why where I'm struggling. Why does it work on mine and not on yours? Yeah. It won't let me. So before it was not doing even this. It would only do one little square, but now it's not letting me do any other squares. Do you? No. I know you're gonna ask if I play with oh, like tool. I don't. No. Are you using uh, the Sims 4 camera or the Sims 3 camera? That's Sims 4. Try I'm on putting Sims it to now. the Sims 3 camera. No. Okay. Sometimes it's weird stuff like that. Is it I because of the front pieces by the pool? Move the little like wings, those little tiny wing These? tile things. Oops. I feel like that won't be it, but my chat's saying to do that. Okay. I don't understand no. this at all. And this is why I've been here for this whole time. It won't let me do anything. Why do you think it's doing that? I don't know, because look at how my grass is highlighted. I'm so confused. This is the second pool that I've completely rebuilt. How come, how did it work on mine? I don't know. My house is broken. Try using the, um, try using the other flattened terrain tool, the square one, the other square one. The, this one, the third one? Or well, technically it's the fourth from the left? Yeah, try that one. Okay. Nope. Well, I don't know what this is. Yeah, it's letting me go towards the open grass, but it's not letting me do anywhere where there's like walls. Mine was three by three. Do you think that the size makes matters? Let's see. Okay. This is like a science experiment a little bit. I'm telling you, <laughs> I have been here like there's no way. That, I'm like, it's a pool. I can, I know how to make a pool. I'm like, that's not the problem. Yeah, like, this is oh. so weird. Terrain manipulation is so weird though. It is. It's one of the hardest things. And it's one of the few things that I refuse to learn because, okay, now I just look like a rookie. All right, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. No, you're gonna but... be fine. You're gonna make it work. <laughs> Somebody said, can you expand the walls, flatten it, then put the walls back? I think that might make the terrain jump. Try it with the three by three. But they mean like, sh could you make the square bigger and then make the flat part big and then put the I pool think, yeah, back I, on top of it? I think what you're saying is gonna mess the terrain up. Do okay. you have a basement? No. Oh my God. Wait. What? So it yeah. let me do this side, but it's not letting me do the other side. Maybe it's too close to the edge of the lot. I think so. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, but we could try it. My chat is asking if it's if you have floor. Oh, floor tile. Delete oh, the floor tiles. <laughs> it's the floor tiles underneath the pool. Oh my God. Are you serious? It's the floor tiles. I didn't know you had them all there. It's the floor tiles. Oh my God. Yeah, if There's those are no all way. gone, it's gonna work. I didn't know you had them underneath the pool. It's always something like that. It's always something like that. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. I. <laughs> it's gonna work now. Is this how you, how do you just make it like, It oh looks like, no, no, undo, it's gonna be fine. It'll, it'll be the right height already if you just undo it. Oh, well, okay. All right. No, okay. <laughs> I got, oh my goodness. There's no way that oh, I'm gonna that's do so it. bad. <laughs> long. Okay, we have a- The way it took, like, three. the collective brain power of two streams as well to figure this out. <laughs> what did you guys do? You guys are over here judging me, and you guys just let me struggle. You guys are- <sighs> My whole oh my chat goodness. and your whole chat couldn't figure this out until just now. I have been over here, and I'm like, y'all, this is not working. People are like, I'm gonna open my game because it's gotta be you. And I'm like, I'm telling you, the person that made the video lied to me. And it, it wasn't a lie. It I'm wasn't so a sorry. lie. I'm so sorry, creator. Yeah, You're not is, a liar. This is pure Kayla error oh right now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Well, thanks. would you look at that? <laughs> Stunning, beautiful, amazing. I'm so glad. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate your services. I literally kept saying, you guys tell me. When Kayla goes live, tell me. You know, you like, never gonna know what to expect when Kayla calls you. You don't. You never know what to expect. <laughs> 
Well, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And you have a great stream. <laughs> you have a great stream, too. I'm glad you got it to work. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. We had a real quick uh, detour just then. I had to do some problem solving with my friend. Uh, we're back now. <laughs> we are back and everything's fine. <laughs> If you don't follow Kayla on Twitch, I know my mom's probably linked her, but uh, we'll put her channel in the chat again for you. <laughs> okay, that is a good, that's actually a really good idea. I can link the, um, I'll link the short of the person who made that too, so that you all can see it, uh, of the person whose idea it was. The person was right, Kayla just couldn't figure it out. <laughs> it works. Okay, um, Peach Gen House. I'm trying to change my stream title if we're going to build. Okay, building the peach gen house. Yay, okay, 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 so here's the deal. I want to build a new house for the peach gen. We're having a little uh, change of plans. So I was going to play with the Sims and now I'm going to build with the Sims. So we have a budget of like 160,000, I think is how much money I said I could have. That's why I bulldozed the house for a second, just because it was fun and then I could see how much money we would have. Um, this is gonna be really hard to do. <laughs> Building the peach gen house is gonna be really hard for me, but I thought that we would live in Tartosa this whole time I've been kind of planning to live in Tartosa um, I don't really know where I want to be so let me do some looking around first so I can see what everybody others what all the other lots look like and then we'll see um, But I feel like Tartosa kind of fits the peach vibes, you know It really does have peachy vibes, but I just I need to make sure that we're all aware Building for the not so berry challenge is a oh, I hate the Sims 4. Why? Can can you think of a single reason? Why? Why would this not connect to the edge of the lot? Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to scream and cry. <laughs> Why? Why would this not go up to the edge? That is genuinely insulting to me. <sighs> okay, oh, but look guys, don't worry. It matches up back here. It doesn't in the front, but it does in the back. Okay, I don't need to live here. I'll pick a new one. Anyway, what I was going to say about Not So Berry is that <laughs> in the Not So Berry Challenge, um, in the Not So Berry Challenge, we build sort of uh, dramatic things. And um, what that means is when we, when we do a house, like the last gen was pink. And so everything is pink, okay? And on this gen, it's peach, and so everything is gonna be peach. Everything. You're gonna say, oh my god, Kayla, this is so wild and excessive, and I'm gonna say, it sure is. It sure is, and it will be. Um, it, that's welcome to the Not So Berry Challenge. Things are kind of chaotic in the best way. Um, and then also, <laughs> uh, the other thing is that um, this is being the peach generation. Peach is a really weird color. Is it pink? Is it orange? Yeah, both. What does it mean? <laughs> so peach is um, kind of complicated to achieve. So this is gonna be a little bit harder than usual. Oh my God, I hate this game. Is there not a single big lot that lines up to the edge? What lot size is this? 40 by 30? I think I want 50 by 40. Peach, peach is a mindset, thank you. That's a really good way of putting it. Peach is a mindset. <laughs> And whatever I think is peach, then that's what's gonna be peach, okay? <laughs> so this one is only 30 by 30, I think it's too small. This one is kind of speaking to me. This one, I want to cry. This one, I think is too community lot vibes. But we'll see. <laughs> An update on the void kitties. I haven't shown any cat pictures yet. Let me see if I can send some to Dan quickly. Um, and then I'll show you guys some. This one does come up to the edge, but it feels like a community lot. So I think I want to live, I think I'll live out there. Um, oh, here's a good one. 
Wait, let me get you a couple. Is that a good cat picture? Why, I have literally my entire, like my entire phone is pictures of cats. Here, you get two for today. First one, this is Snappy. I don't know if I showed you guys this picture on stream yet, but I'll show you anyway. Here's Snappy. Slip, sit, sitting, sleeping, looking cute. She's not sleeping in this, but she was before I sat there and talked to her. <laughs> and then look at this one. This is shrimp in the basket. You know how Sunny usually sits in this basket? This basket, Sunny's usually in there. That's shrimp in it. And he tried to push it off the edge of the table. So good going shrimp. But I thought you would think that was funny <laughs> because it was the wrong cat in the basket. <laughs> Did anyone order a box of shrimp maybe? The other update, the other update from today, and this is actually honestly bad news, but it's kind of cute, <laughs> but also bad news at the same time. The other update is that um, Sunny has discovered my computer. And what I mean by that is Sunny previously did not care about my screen at all. My monitor, not of interest to her in the slightest. Today, she said, oh my God, look at that mouse cursor. And she proceeded to follow my mouse cursor, no matter what I did, for like an hour straight. Um, which is really cute, but also cat fully blocking everything I'm trying to do. Everything I'm trying to do, cat. So, and then I would be like, oh, maybe I'll hold you. And she would say, no, I'm going back. Um, so <laughs> it's really cute, but. She was really helpful, but she was like standing with both paws on the screen, like staring at it, like no matter where I was moving the mouse. So <laughs> she's a gamer apparently. Um, and I was trying to like make thumbnails and she was like, I'm trying to make thumbnails. Anyway, it was kind of cute, but this should be interesting. I meant to change the lot type to a house and I didn't. Silly, silly me, silly, silly me. Okay. Um, I don't have a video. I should get one. She'll probably do it again, but. <laughs> Okay, residential, what am I doing? Let's build. Thumbnail of Sunny making thumbnails. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she could do it. Okay, we need to move these people over here. I'll give them some money. And then we will build ourselves a lovely little peachy house, yes? Yes, okay, this is gonna be an ordeal. We're gonna be here for a while. Sunny replaced Dan as your editor. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay. Um, oh, let me make it not cloudy anymore either. Why so many Stanleys? Because <laughs> this is the save that I've been building in. So I keep uh, placing Stanleys to use as test sims. Anyway. Anyway. Do we know the vibes yet? Yeah, kind of. So I was picturing, obviously with this house being in Tartosa, I've kind of been picturing like a sort of Mediterranean inspired house a little bit because it needs to be kind of peachy colored. Um, let me see if I can show you some pictures. Here's a picture, wait, zoom in a little. Sort of like maybe something similar to this vibe, maybe something similar to um, I'm looking through a few images so I can see what I think is pretty. But it's gonna be kind of big, as per usual. Oh, this one's got a garage. I feel like I'm um, living in a fancy Florida house right now. Full offense. <laughs> Full offense when I call it that. Oh my God, this is so Florida. Yeah. Something like that though. See, to me, this is a little bit ugly, but like maybe in a good way. I always have hated this weird, this sort of thing. We have so many like big column arches. We need a fountain. Ooh, that might be interesting. I love Mediterranean Florida houses, just not the Mediterranean McMansion Florida houses. That's the key difference, Miv. You're right. It's, it's the McMansion-y ones that are not so cute. There's cute ones, but it's the McMansion-y ones that we can't handle. But yeah, I was thinking something along this line. Um, why the round? I don't know if we'll have a round part. <laughs> that might not be for me. Fake cacti, Una, and Kate, and DDB, and Ian, and Morgan, and Rogue. Thank you for the subs. You like the round part? Yeah, but do you like building with round parts? 
easy for you to say when you're not the one playing the game right now. <laughs> easy for you to say you like the round part when you don't have to decorate the round part. <laughs> okay, um, let me open up a second OBS, so I'll probably record this. Now, I anticipate bulldozing this multiple times. So just keep that in mind, okay? <laughs> Let's just prepare ourselves. How many kids are we gonna have also? That I suppose is also important uh, information to be keeping track of. 15? 15 kids? Okay. <laughs> I was thinking like two or three. Five? All right, I wasn't thinking five. I was, okay. Wow. Two and a half? <laughs> well, you want me to delete one like I did last time? <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's, okay, how about this? I was asking because I, I wanted to know like how big to make it, but to a certain extent, it doesn't matter how big I make it because it's, it's probably gonna end up um, the the number of kids is probably going to end up being determined by how many rooms I can fit in the house and not so much by how many rooms I want to fit in the house. So. <laughs> Should we have a garage? I'm looking at that picture of the other house right now kind of as like a inspo. <laughs> what if there was diagonal walls? <laughs> what if there was a little bit of diagonal right here, just for fun? The house we live in right now kind of has that. That might be cute. This poll says one to two, three, or four to five. Why do all of you want to have four to five kids? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that is horrendous. I'll think about it. Peach Jen, we have to marry a coworker, play an instrument, do gourmet cooking and comedy and the detective career. So we're gonna be like a funny gourmet cook who's also unfortunately a cop. <laughs> I don't know about having, I don't, you guys, I don't really know about the, the five kids. We'll see, I guess we'll see. Um. Make it smaller, I don't know. Make them share bedrooms. Oh, they're they're gonna have to share bedrooms probably. <laughs> that part is for certain. Um, yeah, guys, I don't really know what I'm doing with this. I'm looking at that picture still of the house that I thought was silly looking, but. <laughs> One kid, four cats, ooh. Well, the problem is we're always gonna have a pulp. So that's something to keep in mind is that like, no matter what, pulp is gonna be there. You cannot be trusted with one child. What are you implying? That I need to have a backup kid? Are you seriously implying that I need to have a backup kid right now, Tilly? As if I'm gonna like, I haven't, one of my Sims kids has not died in a long time. Come on. No, Brew, my Sims kids don't die faster than yours. You're lying. Decades challenge. Peppa was a young adult. Don't be ridiculous. Peppa was a young adult when that happened. Delete's not dead, delete got deleted. That's fine. Again, I don't know what you guys are expecting. Like. <laughs> What's the problem? I don't get it. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> um, you guys, I don't really know what I want 
out of this, to be honest. Simsy Bruin called me a liar. Well, Marissa, listen. You ever considered that maybe Bruin was right? Oh, I forgot Peppa died again. Oh, that's a shame. That's not my fault either. Peppa got got by Neighborhood Stories um, in the last stream. She died, okay, so let me explain. Peppa died on her birthday when she became a young adult because she was having a bit of a mood swing. Um, and then, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that part was unfortunate. And then Peppa got brought back to life. I spent all this time trying to make ambrosia for Peppa. And then she just died again last time we played this because of a neighborhood stories thing. So rip Peppa, I guess, yeah. It's a shame. I'm sure she'll be fine though. You know. So she wasted your time is what you're saying. Yeah, that is exactly what I'm saying. I'm glad you understand. She's not coming back this time either, no. <laughs> you guys, I don't really know what the house to look like. I'm struggling a little bit. It's gonna be beautiful, just you wait. Just you wait. Modern house, maybe? Oh, no, 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 no. I can't do that. If there's one thing I don't like, it's a modern house. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> we were kind of thinking more like a sort of Mediterranean style, kind of like the other houses in Tartosa are, because um, we're trying to make it a little peachy. What if a courtyard? Yeah, that was an initial thought that I had had too, Miv. Um, the problem is with something like that, I don't know if I want to. I'm gonna have to bulldoze it again. Do you understand what you're asking for? Terrible. It's okay, you can add a MIV yard instead. Are you joking right now? <laughs> MIV, how long were you planning that joke? Was that, was that like the whole thing? Was that a setup for that joke? When you told me to add a courtyard, was the whole thing a setup so that you could make that joke? I get it. If so, I would do the same thing, but also that's kind of like, wow, you know? That's ugly. I guess this needs to go all the way this way. Um, there's some potential here. There's some potential here. Little T3J Weaver, thank you for the subs. Okay, so the front door would be over here. And there'd be like a lovely path of sorts. It's quite big. I don't know. We got options. We got options. No, don't bulldoze. Okay, I'll try not to. <laughs> Are there, is there anything kind of peachy colored with the roof? This is the thing. I think of these roofs as being kind of orange, but like in reality, it is a little bit peachy, you know? Like it just, it is, it is a little bit peachy. Maybe this color is a bit more peachy. Maybe it's a bit more orange, who knows? It's, it's just, what is peach, you know? We're gonna have to bring in some extra pink on the outside, I think, and that'll help it. You'd count that as peach? Okay, that's good, see? Depends on the lighting too. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It depends on the lighting. We're really in for it. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. 
should I do, should it be flat? What is peach if not orange adjacent? Exactly, peach is like a, in my mind, peach is like kind of a combo between pink and orange. So, oh, you know what? This color, kind of peachy. Oh boy, this makes the roof really chaotic. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> we might need some more contrast. You think it's too orange? It's, listen, depending on the lighting though, like look at this lighting, that's peach. It's not really too orange. It's really not. It's peach. I'm sorry, I knew what color it was, but I guess in that lighting you guys couldn't tell as well. Um, keep it on that lighting. Yeah, this will make it more obvious to them. But, um, the problem is just that uh, that's the morning light, but now you understand the peach. You know what we're going for now. You can see it, right? Um... Maybe we should get, like... Should we try and add some white accents? I don't know. I am trusting the process. You guys, you can't bully me right now. <laughs> you have to under... You guys understand, right? Like, you understand that we're making a not so berry house, so it's it's going to be very chaotic in color scheme. Like, no matter what, it's going to be very chaotic in color scheme. If you're not- if you're not prepared for that, then this probably isn't the stream for you. I say with love. <laughs> but like, this is- it's gonna be a lot. That's just how it goes. Um... That's really chaotic, and probably not in a good way, but that's okay. Might do it anyway. If Jack complains, then Kayla will make it more chaotic. <laughs> it's true. I will. Okay. Okay. Um, I will scoot it so that the front is like kind of in line with this thing. Part of the roof doesn't match the roof. What doesn't match the roof? Does it need to have wood? I think wood is probably gonna help us. I'd like to use some of the stuff from the wedding stories pack, but like, I don't know. There's not enough variation in the windows for me to feel like it's gonna be good enough. Like, we don't have enough kinds. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> well, unbiased, what's your fave color? Peach, 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 peach with a capital P. <laughs> I like the wedding stories windows, but I also don't like the wedding stories windows. I don't know. I think that some of the stuff from, ooh. Oh my goodness. Why does that kind of match? <laughs> Not necessarily in a good way. <laughs> Can I explain what the Not So Buried Challenge means? The Not So Buried Challenge is a legacy challenge where each, um, e hold on, maybe I'll change the title. Wait. Building an all peach house. There we go. Uh, but basically, in the Not So Very Challenge, each generation is a different color theme. So we had the pink generation last, this one is peach, so what we're trying to do right now is make an entire house that is all peach. What's peach, you might ask? Well, we'll see. <laughs> There's no way to know for sure right now. <laughs> That's open for interpretation and we'll find out. Peach is a is probably the hardest of the colors because 
Um, some of the other options, like some of the other generations, I should say, the color scheme will be like green. And green's easier. Green is, is more doable. Green's actually like a, you know, commonly used color in The Sims 4, so. Okay. I'm shrinking a little, I've decided. I don't know, you guys. It's kind of ugly. Put the easiest colors at the end with green and blue. I know, the, the problem is, right, when I, when I wrote this challenge, I was in high school and it was a long time ago. So A, I didn't really think that anyone was ever going to want to play this challenge. And, and B, I guess I didn't really think through like the long-term consequences, <laughs> you know? Cause when I say I didn't think anyone was gonna play, I, I didn't know either when, like at the time that people were gonna play so seriously with the color scheme thing, you know? Like, the challenge has sort of evolved a life of its own in recent years that no one could have ever predicted, basically. You need a pool? Well, we'll get a pool, we just haven't gotten to it yet. I'm trying to decide if I want to use these columns or not. I like the idea of these columns, I think. I like how they add some more to it, but tile for front porch? Oh, I guess that's too. That's true. Do I feel famous for creating not so very? No. <laughs> no. I've never thought about it like that at all. Um, okay, I think, um, I don't know. I, I feel like most people that know about the not so berry challenge don't even know that I wrote it. That's not, that's not the reason that I don't feel famous for it. I wouldn't feel famous for creating a challenge anyway. I don't really feel famous, but um, most of the people, like people come in here every day and they say, you wrote that? <laughs> you wrote that? It's, it's more like we coexist, me and the Not So Berry Challenge. Most people don't even know that um, I was part of it. <laughs> okay, maybe we should do a regular wood column instead. Might be a little bit more simple. I think that's pretty, right? Looks like a Sims 3 house. Oh god. <laughs> okay. We can work with that. We can work with that. Um... Yikes, I think it needs to be the wood. This house is so outdated in a sleigh way. Oh god, okay. Okay. <laughs> this house is outdated in a sleigh way, they say. Um, if only this door was more matchy-matchy, huh? But the windows are... Oh. I was using two different colors of, of window. I didn't even know. <laughs> OG Taco Bell vibes, they're saying now, okay. I thought the door actually, for what it is, I thought the door kind of matched nicely. I see now that no one else thinks so. I thought the door was kind of like a funny sort of match in like a, you would never expect the door to match, but it almost does kind of way. Like, you wouldn't think that door would be the right color scheme, and yet somehow it is. Um, okay, they've decided they like the door now, so that's good. I like that. You know the base game tile? Like, the base game, this one? That could almost pass as peachy. So that's an idea. I don't know. Just play with the walls down? Oh my god. I'm so 
unsure of myself with this build today. Charles, <laughs> Flint, uh, Griffin, uh, Julia, thank you all for the subs. Oh, we need to do the back too still. Okay. What about a stone bump out? I don't really know if I want to add stone onto it. I know that you're going to not like that, but I don't really know if I want to. Ugly is good, you guys. Sometimes ugly is good. <laughs> the more you say it, you might start believing it. Should I have the stairs go all the way? Like, oh, I hate how that does that. Um. Can I have this be off-centered? No, that's bad. Yeah, they are the wedding stories windows. I've never used them with the snowy with the snowyscape with the season store before, but I feel like they actually kind of match, which is almost like surprising to me. I wasn't really expecting them to, but they kind of it kind of works. That's from the courtyard oasis kit. I kind of like that. Let's try that. Oh, I called it the right name. <laughs> Sometimes I, I always confuse the Desert Lux and the Courtyard Oasis kits. It's it's more so the Desert Lux kit that I call the wrong name, but that's a big day for me. <laughs> I got it right that time, chat. <laughs> Super exciting stuff. Oh wait, take this. That doesn't even need to be over there anymore. You think no stairs in front cour courtyard will help? Oh really? I kind of liked the idea of some stairs. But, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. This is in Tartosa. That's where I'm building right now. Okay. You like the stairs, okay. Ooh, the game almost crashed just then it looked like. I think with the base game, there's also like, you know this fence? This kind of has peach vibes. The color of it, because of the tile. So we can maybe use that in the backyard. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have a courtyard in the front either, like we kind of talked about, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to or not. Lots of mix and matching that's happening here. Front courtyard with fountain. That would be cute. That would be cute. Okay. Um, I guess having the front, well, okay. The other problem about the front yard being kind of closed off, right? Is that, um, there, it limits the amount of space that I have for all my graves. Cause you know I like to have my graves in the front. So. If we put a courtyard up here, it does sort of give us some limitations on the grave thing. No, that's not good. Maybe like that? I don't know. Don't the columns still show in live mode and kind of block the view in gameplay? No, they don't block the view. I always do columns like this. Have a backyard graveyard? No, no, that defeats the whole purpose of our not so berry save. I don't know if I could ever do something like that. Should there be like a big pathway? I mean, I guess if we're gonna do a courtyard, it would be like very, very enclosed, wouldn't it? But I guess the lot is quite big. So there is room for graves in the sides. Oh, I still have a horse. Oh God. Okay, we're gonna need to have like a barn or something. Cause we do still have a horse. 
<laughs> okay, well that'll be something, I guess. <laughs> Give horse to a family member? No, 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 we- oh, See, what did you say? Oh my god. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. We can't just get rid of the horse. We can't just get rid of the horse. I can't kill the horse. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? What a thing to suggest. That's an elephant. Um... This is the fountain from the wedding pack. It's like kind of good though. James can take it with him when he leaves the household. I might I might need to kick it out with our brother. I don't know, we'll see. A bigger courtyard might be a good thing. We could try and like add some landscaping into the courtyard. I don't know. Um, Logic, Lavender, Tony, Meg, thank you for the subs, everybody. Okay. Um. That's kind of like a coppery color. I guess that's pretty. I don't know. Just leave it there for a sec. Could put my sharks in the courtyard. Oh. <laughs> that would sure be something, huh? No, we'll have a nice spot for the shark pond in the back. I, I think that in the front, um, I think that in the front I don't want to have the shark pond. I'd prefer to have a nice designated shark spot. I don't really know how to landscape this. Business in the front, party in the back. There you go. Um, can we scoot this back like one more tile, perhaps? Oh, we're going to have to get a lot of potted plants. It's giving calientes. It is a little bit, yeah. It is a little bit. You would like to suggest creating a maze with the graves. Oh. Is there a caliente to marry? No. <laughs> we're on gen 18 in this save. Um, so unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, um, unfortunately, all the Calientes are super dead. And they have been for many years <laughs> in this save file. Super, super, super dead with these. Okay. What happened to my short lifespan legacy challenge? Emily, nothing did. We were playing in the same save. So basically what happened um, is we played with those sims for 10 generations, and then I switched, and then we started playing Not So Berry in the same save file. So this is like the same household. And if you meet on YouTube, well, same thing. Um, I, I finished it, and then I started doing, um, I started going to university, and then I recently just started it back up again, like a few days ago. So, uh, both are still going strong. I wanna get a cute pergola. I would like that. The mods are not okay. I didn't see what happened just then. Tilly, are you making fun of someone again? Because if so, ouch. The mods are scaring you? You called someone a normie? Why did you do that? You meant normal lifespan. Oh no. Oh no. Give me his booty, thank you for the subs. So many typos today, huh? Wow. Impressive work. Very, very impressive work. Um. So. On the back, I'm thinking. I would like to have this be kind of similar to the front, at least in part of it. I missed Bruins. Brew, what did you do? Oh god. 
you look away so that you can start building for like one second and then the mods are out of control. You can't repeat it? Oh no. I'm looking. Um... How, how far do I have to scroll back? Maybe I missed it. Don't worry, I didn't see it. I got sick of scrolling, Brew. I might have scrolled past it and not known. Look at your DM. Oh, good. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah, I can't show stream that. You tried to combine peach and orange poorly. I see. I see. Not your finest hour. Yeah. Good work. <laughs> okay, this is getting really big. At least we don't need to worry about being able to um, have enough space for all the bedrooms that we want, I guess. <laughs> so that's kind of a bonus, I suppose. Um... <sighs> Maybe on this part, what do you think would happen if I like, come here, get bigger. What do you think would happen if I tried to make like a slight overhang and then I had them, no. Yeah, it's supposed to be kind of a Mediterranean style. That was what we were going for at least. Um, Mediterranean and peach exclusively is what I was going for. A trellis there. Yeah, that was my initial thought too, but I don't know if the trellis is going to look weird if I pair it with, when I say trellis, I mean like a lattice. I don't know if it's going to look weird if I try and pair it with like a, ew, that's ugly. But we have the actual thing over here, so I don't know if it's going to be weird, but we can see. We can see. Put the horse shed in the backyard? Well, yeah, if we if we intend to keep the horse, we're gonna need to do that. We don't really have much of a choice. <laughs> There's nowhere else for it to go. I did see about the Animal Crossing Lego sets. Yeah, we were talking about that yesterday morning on stream because um, they announced it while I was live yesterday morning. So we were all kind of excited about that. I think this is cute, actually, okay. Um, should I like extend this too? I'm so excited. I, I will gladly accept anything that anyone ever wants to make that is Animal Crossing. I'll buy it. I'm just saying, companies out there, I will literally spend money on anything Animal Crossing you can possibly think of. So, <laughs> and I think a lot of people in the chat will agree. Okay, uh, I have a column that's too tall. We kind of have to mix and match a couple wood tones with this, which is not so ideal, but it's okay. What can you do? That's okay. Well, this will be cool. Um, Animal Crossing X Mac makeup. Well, the thing is, Brooklyn, they did do an Animal Crossing makeup collab, but it wasn't with Mac, it was with ColourPop, and it was actually kind of cool. So you, I know you're joking, but like, genuinely, yeah, an Animal Crossing makeup collab is a win. <laughs> it was actually good when they did it. They did that, and it was good. If only The Sims could have done that and, and made it good, you know? Okay, oops, I didn't mean to go out of build mode. Whoopsies, whoopsies. Um, okay. It is very peachy. This part is, um, in my humble opinion, kind of ugly. So maybe I could like, I don't know. Maybe I should put this in the middle of this wall. And we could do three of them. I don't know. Have I saved yet? Yeah, I did, don't worry. 
I did save. Um, I haven't saved in a second, but I will once we get some of this stuff put down. These windows are from the wedding pack, believe it or not. Um, ew. Okay. Um, uh, so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Maybe a chimney? Oh, maybe a chimney could go right here. We could get some more of the stone this way. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, you know what's annoying though? The stone that I used on the foundation is beautiful, but also doesn't match anything. <laughs> Cause they don't have a matching wallpaper for that, but that's okay. Chimney's good, chimney is good. That helps to space it out a little bit more. And then we could do like maybe a door here or a window. I don't know where the door will be. Depends on where the floor, what the floor plan ends up being like. Okay, age, ghost, onyx, buffy, curious, moony. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, there's a pretty peach tone swatch of the seasons wall stone. Ooh, okay, packs, seasons. Oh, I guess it is kind of a nice, like, well, you know what? Maybe I like the lighter one better because it matches the, I don't know. Tilly just said they should make Peppa Pig makeup. Tilly, why would you say something like that? Why would you even suggest that? You like seasons, you like lighter. Okay, lots of mixed mixed reviews here about this. So I'm not really sure what's best. Um, okay, initial thought also is that this side of the house is very flat. But, oh, we also need to have like the horse set up somewhere back here. It is giving Simpsons house. Oh no. I've never seen the Simpsons. Is that a good or a bad thing? It's probably a neutral thing, to be honest. I'm gonna finish the pastel townhouses tomorrow. I wasn't intending to build today, so. Um, I, it's weird that I've got two half-finished builds, I know, but I, I didn't set out with the intention of building this today. We were planning- I did them on s the other day. Monday, maybe, I started the townhouses, and then today I was just gonna play Not So Berry, but all of a sudden I'm building with Not So Berry, and, you know. Oh! It does look like the Simpsons house. It's kind of cute. It's the same color. Peach vibes, good for them. Okay, it's kind of screaming McMansion right now a little bit and not necessarily in a good way. Oh God. I need like, I don't know. You didn't think it was a McMansion? Okay, good. That makes me feel better. Um, I don't really like that flooring. Oh, maybe I'll do the tile here too. Okay. Um, it's like this wall being completely flat. I think that's throwing me a little. You think the roof is too busy? Oh, well that's no good because that's not gonna be an easy fix. So <laughs> that's not a good sign. <laughs> and I just went and made it worse actually. Excellent. Um, that's not as flat. 
That's okay. The roof is fine. Okay, that's good also. Glad to hear it. Um, okay, so I was thinking about putting the horse, like, I can give the horse a little house. And we're gonna need to get some horsey stuff, too. I think the horse before had two little beds. So that's good. Horse? Yeah, we have a- we've had a horse. It's still alive. I had it because we started playing this current generation uh, right when the horse pack came out. And so, um, yeah. <laughs> I still have a horse because of the- Now why did you sound disappointed? What about the horse? I'm- I would never be disappointed about the horse. I love the horse. Winnie Tartosa is not based off Florida at all. <laughs> Where did you get that idea? Tartosa is sort of like Italian inspired a little bit. Um, I don't know if I would say Tartosa is based off of Florida. Oh, I sounded disappointed that my horse was still alive. Well, yeah. That would be correct, yeah. Florida wishes. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, okay. Perhaps we could have a sort of small... Yeah, I think in general, Tartosa is just kind of inspired by a lot of the Mediterranean. Um, as is a lot of the architecture in Florida, but Tartosa is not inspired by Florida. They got the same point of reference though, maybe. <laughs> Could I do the toddler pool thing? I was thinking about that. I'm trying to decide if I think it's gonna be too much or not. But it might be cool to have something like that, I guess. Um, the toddler pool thing that we're talking about, if you were here in the beginning of the stream, you know, the like, this thing that Kayla was trying to figure out. We can do something like that, maybe. I'll show you. I shall show you. Put this over here, put this back here. Oh my god, somehow we've taken up the entire lot. <laughs> How does this always happen? <sighs> okay, um, so the floor, what we're talking about basically um, is you can use this. Oh wait, I must remove the floor also. Hold on. Don't forget to remove the floor or else you'll cry. Okay, but basically, you do this, right? I feel like the person that built this on YouTube, they had like a... something like that going on. But then what we do is we put water in it and then the, the toddlers can splash around in the water. How did I mess this up so bad? Hold on. And then the toddlers can splash around in the water. That's sort of the idea. Oh my god. <laughs> so much effort for this. Okay, but then you put water in that. And then, like I said, toddlers can splash around in the water. It's kind of cool. Hot tub would be better. Yeah, well, we do the hot tub thing a lot. This is a sort of different vibe than the hot tub thing on purpose. What did they do? Let me pull it up actually really quick because I want to see what they did with the end. I'll link this in chat too. Um, 
Does the water get dirty and have to be maintained? No, no. Can you skip ahead in shorts? Oh no, we'll watch the whole thing though. Dark blue tiles for the pool maybe? Oh, <laughs> so normally we're doing not so very um, at the moment. Um, <laughs> we're doing not so very at the moment and everything has to be peach. Everything has to be really, really, really peach. Oh, they didn't put anything at the end. It's just grass. Okay, interesting. Um, so yeah, I don't know about the blue. I think I might have made it too big by accident, which is honestly confusing to me because I did it, I thought the right depth, but perhaps not. One, two. Oh, you know what I did is I put it too deeper than what I had before which was four. There we go, that's the right depth. So the toddlers can use that. I need to put like some terrain paint down there or can I do tile at the bottom of this? No? Weird. I'll do terrain paint. I guess we could do, people keep saying sand, but I don't know if, Oh, well, the sand might help to blend it in. It depends what we do for the texture of the rest of the pool. We could also paint it to be like a stone, which might be more doable. Well, that stone right there blends in better with the flooring that I have. So that might be better because it looks more like the two of them work together. Okay, what I was thinking about doing is putting this pergola over here, like I had it before. Oh, that's clipping. Bye, Hope, have fun. See you later. Oh. Um, can they even get through that? Of course I've made this not the right width. Before when it was like this width, it was good. And now it's not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is this for a legacy? Yeah, it is. It's for my uh, not so berry challenge. Is what we're doing right now. Um, hence why it's so peachy. <laughs> Hence why it's so, so, so peachy, and it, it will continue to be this peachy. Is it okay if it doesn't fill in the whole place? Maybe it's fine. Can make it a little wider. I think it looks nice. And that's kind of hidden back. Well, I can put some lounge chairs underneath this part or something. I don't know. So that'll be cute. Okay, um, then the horse thing. I have, I ha actually haven't got a clue where to put my horse. This is a disaster. <laughs> the fact that I have a horse is a complete and total disaster. Ew. 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 I don't like any of the pool trims be honest. She looks so sad about the horse. Yeah, because I am. <laughs> I am sad about the horse. <laughs> okay, so here's what we've been doing. Um, what we've been doing with the pool and not so berry is making it glow the color of that generation sell the horse? No, I I think I oh, I shouldn't say this part out loud. Um okay, how do I word this and have not people get mad at me? I was going to say I think I want the horse to die. Why does Kayla have to come right now? <laughs> oh my god. I was going <laughs> 
fine. Okay, I'll get the words out. I was going to say, I think I want the horse to die of old age so I can have a horse grave. And then Kayla showed up. Look, Kayla, I did the pool right first try. How does that make you feel? <laughs> anyway, I'm currently building a house for my legacy challenge. <laughs> I've been playing the not so very challenge um, on my YouTube channel or on my Twitch channel. Jeez. I've been playing the not so very challenge on my Twitch channel. Um, and uh, this is me building the new house for the peach generation. Not so very is basically like a challenge where each generation is a different color scheme. Um, and it's all very dramatic and kind of fun. So we've been up to that recently. Um, unfortunately, I have a horse that I'm trying to figure out what to do with. And you came in um, when I was, you know, discussing the future, maybe more than I should have been. So why do you want the horse to die? Because I, because I, um, I have too many pets. This is really awkward. Really, really, really awkward, actually. I bet Peppa's kids are sad that their mom is dead. They might like a horse. <laughs> you know, Christine, you might be right about that. Peppa's kids probably are sad their mom is dead. And they probably would like to have a horse. No, I'll keep it. It'll be fun to have the horse for a little bit. It's interesting to try and add in a horse stable into a house like this. When pets turn to pests. Oh my god. And maybe eventually this part could be like... I don't know, a cool section for like a studio or something. So you can't give the horse away? No, I mean, I could. I could give the horse away, but wouldn't it be kind of fun to have a horse grave for my collection? I have a, um, okay. I have a collection currently of 256 graves in this household. I ha obviously I don't have them here with me yet because I'm just building right now, but um, I do have a, very large collection of graves. Um, and so I would like to have a horse one to add to my collection. I'm not making myself look better right now, but anyway. <laughs> I collect them is all. Don't worry. I'm on gen 18 of this family, so it's fine. It's not, it really isn't as bad as it sounds, okay? <laughs> I swear. I don't remember how long the horses live. Probably a while longer, unfortunately, but that's okay. We'll have a horse for a bit. As long as um, I've got a sim who can take care of it, it should be fine. It's weird to give the horse a chimney. I don't know what I was thinking with that, sorry. That was strange of me to do. Okay, um. That's weird too. Maybe bigger? Oh no, maybe smaller. So I can just, oh my God. No, no. I wasn't watching and just heard it's weird to give a horse a chimney. Well, it is a little bit, right? Does the horse really need a chimney? No. Maybe this is fine. I can put some more landscaping right here. Doing the not so berry houses is always very difficult. I never know what I'm trying to do. Anyway. <laughs> Babs, Em, thank you for the subs, both of you. Maybe the horse wants to stay warm too? Yeah, that would be nice for them, wouldn't it? Too bad. How do I live with having my sims die? You know, um, how do I, okay. How do I say this? So, um, I, I kind of like it when they die. No, that's not true. I, I like 
I like to play sort of generationally in The Sims 4. Um, my my favorite thing to do is is to kind of play over the course of many generations. So it's like genuinely kind of fun for me to move on to the next generation and like continue playing with my Sims and stuff like that. So I think for that reason, um, it doesn't it doesn't upset me too much when my Sims die because I I'm like ready to move on usually by the time that they die, but it depends on the sim, because there are sims that I have, that I have, like, obviously grown really attached to, and those, those get to me a little bit more, um, as you might expect, but, uh, I'm a little desensitized to most of my sims dying, I guess. I don't know, it depends. Sometimes, like, when I have a sim that I, like, really enjoy, I usually bring them back to life if they die prematurely. So... Okay, um, I really, really don't like the trim around this pool, but I don't know how to, I don't know how to improve it. I don't know what to do to fix that at all. Maybe I will let them have a blue tile pool. I know I said I wasn't going to do that, but we don't have like the peachy color of my dreams anymore, so white i don't the white looked weird it kind of was like the white trim kind of stood out too much the cream trim's a little weird then i was looking at like these options but i feel like that it's just really dramatic you know like there's just something off about it same thing with this we need to have some more pool trims added this one maybe could work but even then this middle of the pool less deep. Yeah, we're trying to make a fake toddler pool. It's actually like a slightly lowered terrain. I don't know. I really don't like this trim from that from this pack, but maybe we can try it. See if we can get it to grow on us. This is fancy. That is actually really fancy. Should we use that? It's giving LA, do you think? It kind of, that's kind of what I was going for a little bit. Does the house have to be the color of the gen? Um, it doesn't have to be, depending on like how, how you want to play. I like for it to be, like for me, it's kind of fun to try and really embrace the color of the generation. So I, I find it kind of fun to do that. Um, if you don't like that kind of thing, you obviously don't have to do that um, if you were gonna play, but I think it's really silly and fun to, go all out with the color schemes, <laughs> you know? Um, eh. I don't know about that part. I feel like the pool is really throwing me off. I think it needs more space, I don't know. Should this go all the way to the edge here? Oh my god, you guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm struggling a lot with this. This is gonna be like a multi-day build. I feel like that's better to have more to it. What do I do about this section? At least it won't be cruise ship long, right? No, it won't take as long as the cruise ship did, that's for sure. That part, I'm not worried about. <laughs> I know it won't take as long as the cruise ship. It's hard. It would be hard for anything to take as long as the cruise ship did. I was planning on putting the outdoor kitchen over here in this corner. There was a cruise ship? Yeah, I built a cruise ship a couple weeks ago. Big, giant cruise ship, actually. It was like a whole thing. Um, maybe I'll put, I need to get like some more flooring pieces here. I'm gonna come back to that. Can I do the floor plan before we get too far ahead of ourselves? Cause maybe once we have a floor plan, this will make a little bit more sense. Oh my God. This house is huge. Absolutely huge. Okay, um, 
I was thinking, like first initial thought was that it might be kind of fun to have some sort of opening in the flooring for the stairs. Like if we maybe had the staircase kind of come like this. I'll probably have a wall over here. You know what could happen is there could be like a ensuite bathroom for this bedroom right here. And then maybe, oh my God. We're gonna have to make some adjustments, friends. We are gonna have to make some adjustments. That's fine. I will save, hold on. <laughs> Hold on. And throw Nectos facing. Thank you for the subs. Okay. It always scares me when they all start yelling save. <laughs> I know they mean well, but all of a sudden you look over and the whole chat is saying the same thing out of nowhere and it kind of scares me. Okay. Um, so. Perhaps. There could and should be another bathroom like over here. And maybe this part could get split into, oh, this is kind of weird. Hold on. There's like a million bathrooms. We don't really need that many bathrooms. That ensuite is bigger than your kitchen. Yeah, it's a quite big room, isn't it? The staircase being here is kind of inconvenient. I fear. But that's kind of what I was thinking, is that it would be like that open. Obviously I'll fix the roof clipping, don't worry. Um, but then this is kind of, kind of too open for me. Too open in a bad way. Maybe this doesn't have to be a bathroom and that could be like more spaces. So that becomes three bedrooms, two bathrooms upstairs. This is kind of annoying because this is like the biggest bedroom and it doesn't even have its own ensuite bathroom, but I guess I could potentially give it one. Okay, maybe that's better. It's three bedrooms and three bathrooms upstairs. And then we can put some more bathrooms downstairs. We didn't finish the townhouse, Zelly. We were always planning on doing that tomorrow. I wasn't planning on building this today. This was kind of a last minute change of plans decision. We're gonna do the townhouses tomorrow, just like we always planned on. Um, Weasel, AJ, she, Sarah, thank you for the subs. Okay, maybe I will put some tile in here just to help me figure it out. This bathroom is kind of too big, I feel. I can make it bigger. Might be okay. You know what we could also potentially do? Is like, steal a little bit of space. It's a really weird shaped room. Oh, but that makes the windows look bad. Maybe it's cute with it all being open upstairs. Um, Conrad, I would say that I always stick with the original stream plan. Um, the, the change of plans today was that I was going to play Not So Berry, and then we started building for Not So Berry instead. So it's not really like that huge of a change of plans. Um, it was it was a small change of plans, but a change of plans nonetheless. So I, basically, people are people keep asking like, "Why are you doing this? <laughs> what about the townhouses?" Um, and the answer is, I'm gonna do the townhouses. I, we we're just always doing it tomorrow. We weren't planning on building this today. Okay. Um, lots of different roof pieces have to be used to make this not clip. You see that? It's kind of annoying, but it must be done. And then same thing over here. Okay. Well, that can only go to there. And then I need to have this one not, that's so annoying because it makes the roof, all the textures look weird. You see how there's like, the textures don't line up properly in these three places. I guess we can't really deal with that. We're not in Oasis Springs, no, we're actually in Tartosa. And to someone who just asked, I do have a Discord server, I just linked it in chat for you. It's a, it's a subtle, annoying thing, I guess. It's not too bad. 
Okay. Um. Cool. I think I like that. So we should be able to get an extra bedroom or or two or three. <laughs> we should be able to get a bunch of extra rooms down here. Can I make this a little bit bigger? I guess now that I've done this, I could give myself some more space in the entryway. That's nice. That's nice. Right? This could be a big bathroom downstairs, potentially. Which may be good. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe we could try and have most of the living space all in this half of the house. And then, okay, so in the Peach generation, we're a foodie, lazy, and a goofball. We need to marry a coworker. we have to play an instrument, we have to have the gourmet cooking and comedy skills maxed, and we have to do the detective career and live in a different world than, one that, than the one that we were raised. So we have to do comedy and things. Um, we might need, it might be nice to have like a music room. I guess. That could be kind of cool. Maybe I'll keep all three of these rooms up here for kids. And then we can have like a nice primary suite downstairs. Um. I don't know. I never like everything just being a plain square. Maybe this could be an extra couple bedrooms. Okay. That's not really the suite that I was envisioning, but <laughs> one could be an office. Yeah, we could have an office and we could have, I guess potentially this could be the primary suite that I'm picturing and they could have a ensuite bathroom right there. And then we could do like office. And this could always be Granny's room. What my initial thought is that um, it might be fun to have this little part be the music section because it can be kind of open to the rest of the house in this kind of little small bump out area. I don't know. I can make that a bit smaller so I could have like some, maybe I could try and put some built-in cabinetry or something there. Would be nice to be one of these Sims and just get a mansion when you turn 21, right? <laughs> you just replace your parents, you get all their money when you turn 21 and they just keep living with you, but you get to be in charge. So this can be the previous gen heir's house um, room. We'll do like Barbie's pink room in here. This can be the primary bedroom with the bathroom. And then we'll have an office. That might be kind of nice. We could even open the office up a little bit. Oh, to be a little Simsy Sim dwelling peacefully in a pretty mansion. <sighs> um, peacefully is an interesting way of putting it. Yeah, I don't know about that part. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure that my sims would agree about the peaceful thing. Oh, that's cute. It's not quite the same color as the walls, but I'm just gonna go for it. Because this house has to be peach, so... If we can make that work, then, then I will. Okay, um... We need to have also downstairs, like a... I don't know, maybe I wish I'll... Maybe I should put this into like more of a proper entrance. I do love a fancy entryway. That might be nicer. We can kind of close off this hallway too, which could be cute. Do we need a gym? Um, I guess it wouldn't hurt to have do you need the athletic skill for the detective career? I don't know. Anyone know? Yes, I figured that we would. Maybe? Well, 
We don't have any kids yet, so we can always make one of those upstairs rooms into the gym. Does Granny have to go upstairs to pee? No, I'm gonna get another bathroom over here. I just don't know how I'm gonna lay it out yet. I am gonna get another bathroom over here though. Don't worry. I was thinking about trying to put like basement gym. I don't know if I want a basement or not. I'm not sure about that actually. Okay, well, I was thinking that we could have like the living room in this area on this big wall. You don't, but the office tasks require. Oh, maybe I don't need to have a gym then. But maybe this area could be like a big living room. Have it on the TV on that big back wall. That might be kind of nice. It's nice and bright at least. Um, and then I'm picturing the rest of this needs to be the kitchen and the dining room, but I also want to have a bathroom. So I'm just kind of trying to think about where to put it. You sent your peach gen to university, so she started at level eight and you spent like two days on the job. Oh, good. So Christine is a very experienced peach gen player, clearly. <laughs> um, maybe I could close off the bed or the, the living room a little bit more. We can do it kind of like this. And then I'm picturing the this will be another bathroom downstairs, and then the kitchen will go along this wall. What's the room for next to the stairs? This is the ensuite bathroom. So I was gonna have like primary bedroom and they're gonna have a, their own bathroom. And this would be granny's bedroom. So she needs to have, we wanna have another bathroom downstairs anyway. There's lots of bathrooms in this house. There's three upstairs, but. There's a lot of, like, this whole section is kind of just walking space, but that's not bad. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Bathroom where the piano is? No, I like the, I like the piano. We could potentially have, if we wanted to, we could do, like, a little extra half bathroom, but I don't think I need to have another one. Who is Granny? <laughs> well, she's not a Granny yet. The So in this challenge, it's very generational, obviously, so we're starting the Peach Gen. The Sim's only a teen still. But her mom, the pink gen sim, whose name is Barbie, Barbie is gonna be granny. So Barbie's gonna live here too. Obviously we haven't aged up and moved out yet, but once we do, Barbie's gonna live here too. Um, and she'll have her own <sighs> fancy setup. I guess if we wanted to, we could potentially try to like, no, it's too big. Big hallways are good for skill building items. Yeah, now I'm wondering if I should try and swap this out and have the dining room be smaller so that I can have the kitchen on this big wall more open to the rest of the house. It's very skinny. And then we have this weird room, which who knows what that's gonna be, but. Maybe that's better. This wall is quite big. Almost to a fault. Maybe I'll close this off a little too. Laundry room? No, see, this is the problem with, with that sort of suggestion. I know you all mean well, but if I weren't playing in this house, I would do laundry. I'm playing in this house, so I, I can't do laundry. I just won't do it. Like, I just, I know myself, I won't do the Sims laundry. I just won't. So I guess that could be like a fake pantry or something. I don't know, but I was going to put columns or, or uh, counters there. So I don't really know yet. We'll see. But yeah, um, I'm also a little bit worried about money, so I don't want to spend too much by accident, but we'll see. We'll see. Wish we had decorative laundry appliances. Yeah, maybe that would be good. I don't know. All right, so I happen to know 
that these new counters, it's not really that peachy, but it's a possibility. That's not peach either. That's too orange. Or too red, maybe. I don't know. But this is like, this is a maybe. We As soon as we saw that, when the new pack come out, came out, we were like, oh, that's peach. We can do it. This is from the new stuff pack that just came out a couple days ago. Um, two dryer should work as non-functional. Yeah, we did that kind of thing in the last house. We have a mudroom in our other house, but I don't know if I really want to do that. I think I'd rather think up another idea for it. So. I don't like the country kitchen counters for this house, I don't think. The country kitchen counters are a totally different vibe. Could you just lock the door? No, if there's laundry on the lot, it'll start like giving us laundry. Well, so Mag, I haven't even started furnishing it yet. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep these floors. You guys gotta bear with me, okay? <laughs> and this is a really hard and long process, so we don't really know what floors we're gonna use yet. I don't really know if I wanna use tile everywhere. I think it's kinda, it kinda bothers me to have tile everywhere. So I think I wanna do wood in a lot of places, but I don't really know like what I wanna do. This one kinda reads peachy, so that's an idea. Like I just, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um, what I want to do with the space yet. So just bear with me, okay? We're right now mostly just thinking about like layout. I'm not even going to decorate the kitchen yet. I was just trying to figure out where the kitchen would go. I wasn't planning on decorating it for real or like doing the real island shape. I was just trying to see what the size looked like. Does that make sense? Um, Cause I want to think more about the outside before I get too ahead of myself. Cause it's not done yet. <laughs> It is not done yet. Um, okay, I still hate the pool. I don't know about the pool. Do I think it would be better to get two kittens if you have an older cat? Lily, can I tell you both from my personal experience and from like the general accepted research, I know that it sounds like getting two kittens is a lot, okay? I know that you're gonna be like, oh my God, two? That's so much, <laughs> but trust me, Two kittens is easier than one. It's obviously more expensive because you've got like double the vet bills, double the food to buy, double the litter to buy, but two kittens is so much easier than having one kitten because the kittens, they play with each other, they tire each other out, they teach each other like how hard is too hard to play. So they won't be like biting at you because they'll learn like how much is too much from their sibling or their friend. It, it, I'm serious, two kittens is so much easier than one kitten. So your life will be easier, their life will be easier, they won't bother your older cat. Like it, um, two cats. <laughs> one kitten is gonna be really rough on you. Two cats is better. Um, I think people think of it sort of like dogs where it's like really not recommended to get two dogs at once because they can have like litter mate syndrome or like, um, you can't dedicate enough attention to them, but cats have a totally different vibe. Um, they total their behavior is different. Everything's different. Two kittens is better than one. It's more expensive, but it's, trust. <laughs> Two kittens is better than one. They they do um, well together, especially because you can so easily adopt like bonded pairs from shelters. Like it's really common that places will be trying to adopt two kittens together, and people are like, I just want one. But if you can find a bonded pair, they'll they will do really well together. Speaking from experience right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's been really nice to have them together. Um, okay. Uh, hi, Dad. <laughs> hi, Dad. How are you? I had a meeting this morning. Speaking of cats, I had a meeting this morning. Um, and <laughs> I haven't had the kittens in my room during a meeting yet, but they were in here and I wasn't gonna kick them out. Um, but I had a meeting this morning and they were just running around, <laughs> like running around. And the person thought it was so funny. He was like, that's hilarious. I'm like, I keep watching them behind you. Um, and then he was joking about how um, I can get like how, like how I bought the cats. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't buy these cats. I found these cats in a sewer. <laughs> and it was really funny for me to get to tell someone um, a complete outsider about where the kittens came from. Cause I was like, oh no, I didn't buy these. <laughs> I found them outside in a storm drain. So 
yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to decide how I want to do this still. I got them for free, yeah. <laughs> Um, let me, oh, maybe I could try and find some light, some, like, lights. Maybe we could try and fit this with the toddler lights. Because that might look better. If we tried to space it out on purpose to fit the lights nicely. Okay. Um, oh. Oh, look! That's, like, the exact right width of the where I was gonna put the outdoor kitchen so that could be an idea we could try and space the outdoor kitchen like this okay maybe I could still get some little landscaping right here and then I could put like This around the corner, maybe? Okay. This is... We might be on to something with this, actually. I think. I don't really know. <laughs> I guess we'll see. I don't know. The clipping? Oh yeah, the wall, the wall is clipping kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah, I was thinking about putting the pizza oven and a grill out here. That was kind of what I was going for. We can get a bar, too. I don't know if I like that. We'll see. But yeah, that was what I was picturing when I was setting this up, is that we could put the... No, maybe this should just be, like... Is it okay, do you think, if... It doesn't go all the way to the end. Maybe I could put a half wall. The half wall is the exact right size. Oh my god, 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 I hate this game for that. <laughs> Maybe I can't put a half wall. Oh no. Okay. A grill. <laughs> That comes in a peachy color, so that's nice. Should I use the lighter colors? I don't really know. It's so big. Goes to the end of the counter, it's fine. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, Maybe we could try and put, ugh. I don't think the countertops look nice. I think we might need a different counter altogether. The counter looks sort of weird. Desert Lux does have some good peachy stuff. Yeah, that's true. Um, you doing the bar now? Yeah, I was trying to think about the outside before we get too far ahead with the inside. Because I felt like I wasn't happy with the outside, and I took a break from the outside to think about the floor plan inside, but now we got to figure out the rest of the outside layout. I don't think I like that. Base game counter with tiled countertops. That's an idea. The bar... The problem is I would like to have a bar, I think. So we need to match whatever we use to a counter that has a bar. Like, for example, these are kind of weird but it does have a bar at least that matches. The base game tiled countertops has a really big bar that kind of screams like, um, I'm a community lot, you know? <laughs> so I have a hard time using that one. The regular base game countertops, this one has like two variants and that one's a little bit more like it could belong at home, maybe. Desert Lux bar would match the grill. Oh, I guess that's true. The problem is with the Desert Lux stuff, the Desert Lux bar will match the grill, but it won't match any counters that I try to use. Maybe that's okay, because maybe we can try and do, we can make it smaller. 
Yeah, we had pink generation last time. La well, previous generation. This generation is the peach generation. Um, I go kind of in order like that. It goes from pink to peach. Okay, what if we used... That's a totally different color, though. Could get a counter that matches the counter of the bar, maybe? Yeah, if we found, like, a... This was my next thought, was to maybe use these ones. I've been putting these in a lot of my builds recently. <laughs> The horse ranch ones have been coming in handy. But that does match. Dece oh, maybe don't do that. It matches the countertop on this. So that could be good. And that gives me enough space for like, for example, my pizza oven. Which is all that I wanted this whole time. <gasps> Peach! Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> it comes in a peachy color. That's so good. Does the Desert Luxe kit have like a peachy... Oh, it does. Oh my goodness. Okay. Maybe I could try because these are just flat and they're on the... Oh no. Oh. I'd have to get another one. I had them laid out weird. But we could try and do it like with our own columns. What if I got like a, hold on. I don't know you guys, this is just an idea. But we could try to like build out the bar a little bit more custom. I don't know. I think I like that. Okay, I need to make sure I place them all the same, because <laughs> they're going to be looking a little bit weird if they're not. That's Oh, that's why they're backwards from each other. Try Eco Lifestyle. Yeah, Eco Lifestyle has good stuff for this, but I really like the High School Years one a lot. The High School Years one is one of my favorite things in the game. Should there be a spandrel across the top, maybe? Hold on. What column is that? Is that outdoor retreat? Of course it's outdoor retreat. Nothing's gonna match. They're all gonna be like the wrong color. There is no spandrel in outdoor retreat is the problem, you see. I don't think it needs it necessarily. Maybe I won't. I think that's really cool. That definitely adds something to this. Interesting that the column makes the end piece stop. Should I open that up then? I don't really know. Maybe we could have like some sort of custom little garden or something. Like garden with garden planters over here. In this area. Opening it up some more. That horse ranch spandrel would look cool. I tried both the horse ranch spandrels, Chris, and it looked kind of weird, I thought. So I don't know if it will work. Um. So should we like, should I have extended the pool then? I might need to redo a little bit. Hold on, I'm just gonna move this for a sec. <laughs> Don't mind me, okay? Don't mind me. Do I have enough room for my graves? Yeah, we've got plenty of room for the graves in the front yard, so it'll be fine. It will be fine. Um, I guess if I'm going all out to try and move this, I could do the scooting that I've been wanting to do as well. Um, it would be like... It would be like up to here, I think, is what I want to do. 
And all you need are basil and tomato plants done. <laughs> Perfect. I'll make some beautiful, we'll grow some beautiful pizza ingredients. You think flip it so the waiting area is by the pergola? Oh, I guess that would be good too. Okay. We could potentially do that. Okay. That probably is better. Yeah, we were doing the kiddie pool thing um, that Kayla called us about earlier. <laughs> Oops, wrong thing. Basically, what I had done, right, is I made myself a fake little section with enough water for the child to wade in. The toddler can wade in it. So it's like a little wading section. And then we did it like this. So we can have a nice dining table over here and then maybe I'll get some lounge chairs lined up over here. Should it be smaller again? Oh no, maybe I should make it like, no. Something about this just feels off. I don't really know how to explain it. I'm scooting it again. Okay, come here. Move over one tile, please. Can you grow cheese plants? No, you can't grow cheese plants in The Sims 4. You can make cheese, but you have to like cook the cheese. Uh, if you've, you can do it if you've got cottage living is what the cheese cooking comes with. Okay, I had used this cause that was kind of a similar color. So I thought it blended nicely. No, toddlers can't go in pools, but they can wade in like little bits of water. So that's what that is for. <laughs> You think the opening of the horse area needs to line up with the edge of the patio. I had it lined up with the edge of this. The reason I had done that was because of the staircase. Um, I don't really know where I want the staircase to go and if I want it to still be there or not, but I had done it because of the staircase. That's why I had it like in line there. The pool still has a different color in it. Um, there's one, you mean this one tile? We're not sure about the pool color yet. We haven't really done that. But. Okay, um, let's get some lounge chairs. Oh, let me get some more, there's more LOL. More pool tile pieces? Oh, the whole room. Okay, we can, we can drop the pool tile thing, chat. I'm not done with it yet, okay? <laughs> I know you mean well, but <laughs> bear with me. We've got much to do, much to think about. These are peachy and perfect. So what I was picturing is because it's the it's the peach gen, obviously, we need to have all peach things. We'll get some of this stuff. Cause the Desert Lux kit comes in like perfectly peach swatches. Oh, I don't really have any room for this fire pit. That would be really nice though, wouldn't it? We kind of don't have a spot for it. That would have been good. I have a spot, for, I have outdoor couches that match. I don't have an outdoor dining table that matches. Under the pergola. Do you think it's weird to have the fireplace by the pergola? It does kind of clip a little, but I guess I could scoot the pergola and then scoot the fireplace. Cause the fireplace could be a little bit, as long as we have it like scooted as far back as it can go, the fireplace can be a little bit out and the pergola can be a little bit forward. Oh, that would be really nice. Okay, this is kind of peachy. Good. Cool. So you can sit there with the fire and by the pool. Okay. I feel kind of good about this actually. <laughs> There's a surprising amount, I think, of peach things in this game. The only problem is the peach stuff is like the exact same shade of peach. So when we try to use it, it's like 
Should I put, maybe I could do two of them. But yeah, when you try to use the peach stuff, it's looking very samey out here, but maybe it's okay. That kind of works. Beige almost is, ha well, beige is almost gonna have to be peach for the purposes of today. <laughs> We're gonna have to have the beige kind of pass as peach sometimes. But that's okay. It's gonna be nice. We can get a little palm tree maybe. I don't know. Now you're very confused about the color scheme? What do you mean? It's because not everything is peach. Not everything has a peach swatch and beige sometimes is the closest to peach that we can get. So, yeah, I think Pastel Pop Kit has some peach stuff also, which we can try to use. Um, they said beige isn't peach. Oh, someone said that? Oh, they've never tried to do a peach build though, so they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> I'm not worried about what they think if they never tried themselves. <laughs> You guys don't understand. You can sit here and talk all you want about beige not being peach, but like, the alternative is to have nothing. <laughs> so. Um, that umbrella is the seasons one, right? I thought so. Oh, it's, oh, it's the get together one. Some, it's, it's not peach, but it's, it's gonna have to be close enough. Otherwise, it's never gonna be done. Okay, um, made base game. I don't know if I want to use this or not. I can't lower that at all, so that's kind of annoying. But it does have like a kind of maybe slightly appropriate color. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well the dining table is going to go in here then. I'm super unsure about the landscaping. I feel like some vines would add some nice contrast to the orangey tones. <laughs> um, I'm really sorry, but what I, okay. So I don't want contrast. <laughs> I understand where we're coming from, but this is not so very. <laughs> Honestly, having to add plants, it's hard enough as it is. <laughs> I don't think I want to have any vines on the house though. I don't know. I don't think that's the style that I'm going for really. That's kind of cute and peachy. I kind of like that. It doesn't have to look balanced. <laughs> Thank you. You get it. Maybe this would be better in this corner. Maybe I could size it down too, I don't know. Ugh. The outside is giving Love Island vibes. Oh, that's a nice thing to say. <laughs> Your peach build made you cry a few times. Yeah, a lot of people were saying how their peach build was like basically just beige. And I, I get that. I really understand that at this current moment, especially. So it's okay, we're doing it. It's coming along. Oh, I think that's really nice. At least it's not sad and beige. Yeah, exactly. This is in Tartosa, by the way. Um, we're building this in the world that came with the wedding pack at the moment. That's like the same as this. I wish that there was a swatch of this that didn't have the flowers. It kind of stinks because I really like it, but it's also a lot. It's like really, really, really a lot. So that part is kind of hard to work with. Shall I put this over here? That might be a good 
divider between like the two halves. <laughs> you should tell whoever wrote the challenge that Peach isn't a good color in The Sims 4. Yeah, I I have I could have some words with whoever's idea it was to write this not so berry challenge with this Peach business. I don't know what they were thinking. What a ridiculous choice to make, huh? <laughs> okay, Peach. Um. And you know what's hilarious too, is that when I wrote this, there was actually less peach. Like we've gotten more peach stuff over the years. That metal one could potentially work. Hmm, you know what? The metal is kind of cute. It's the right amount of peach. It's very silly. <laughs> Um, metal chair in the sun, how lovely. Oh yeah, it's gonna be great, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. What color would you replace peach with if you could go back? Um, jokes aside, it's not necessarily like, I don't know, I haven't really thought about a replacement color. It. You have to understand that like the not so very challenge, it's not really, in. It's not like intended to be a rainbow, right? So the colors are kind of random um, and they have like kind of fancy names like rose instead of red <laughs> um, But the whole theming is based around like the colors and so by the end We're kind of running out of color options for like things like traits and stuff. So We try to give like on the mint gen they have all green traits, but there's also a green gen and they both have green traits. <laughs> and then the storyline is kind of based on the color of the traits. So Peach is like, a, oh, we already did red, we already did orange, we already did pink, <laughs> but there's more options that kind of fit this vibe and like how do we describe these? So it, I don't know, it was kind of like a out of desperation, we're running out of trait options and color options and stuff. So um, that's kind of why it ends up being like that. Which is interesting, but... Um, let's see, maybe I'll look at more of the two kits that I've been, like the Desert Lux kit and the Courtyard Oasis kit. The Peach Gen has the foodie, lazy, and goofball traits. The lazy trait is like kind of the closest to it, um, to the color scheme vibe. It's kind of like a reddish, peachy color. Um, anyway, obviously like some of it's kind of a stretch, so don't go being like, well, it's not actually peach. <laughs> Cause we're trying to use all the traits, right? So it's not gonna be exact, but um, yeah, there, that was kind of what we were going for with it. I don't know if this comes in a color that could work. Oh, I think that's kind of random. It would be cool though. What was the inspiration for the jobs? Um, Storyline and like, what we hadn't done before. At the time, we were trying to use like pretty much all the things that were in the game when it released. Um, and try to have like, sort of like well-rounded Sims that almost have like opposing interests because um, sometimes like in The Sims 4, I end up using a lot of the same skills and same job stuff. Or like when you do it, you have the same, the Sims use like kind of the same collection of skills each time. But we were trying to have like opposing interests with it. So for example, like in the Peach Gen, you're a detective, you like to cook, and you have trying to do the joke star aspirations. So you have to do like two careers, you have to do all these things. Um, there's a Sim who's like evil and a criminal, but they have to master the baking skill, which are just, I mean, you might use those things together, but they don't really like go hand to hand in hand, obviously to people. So we were trying to like pair things that way and have it fit the traits and then, you know, do it like that, so. And people ask if I've thought about updating it all the time. I have a little bit, but like, I'm never gonna change it. Like, I'm never gonna go back and change the existing rules. Um, Cause I like, I don't wanna go back and like edit the pink gen now after all this time. I, one, I'm proud of it. And two, like, it'd be weird to change it. So to like update it, I wouldn't ever add more generations either cause it's already 10. It'd be more like a, maybe, maybe I would make like a not so berry too. But this is one of those things that people, the community has kind of taken 
it. Um, like the community has made like not so very expanded, not so very backwards, not so very base game. <laughs> like like other people who play it have have made things like that and published things like that. Um, and I think that that's kind of cool. And so I don't really know if that's something that I need to do. Like I think that there's something kind of cool about the fact that the community has it and it's theirs now and they've used it. So anyway, I get asked this all the time. I don't have plans to make a not so very two today, but like maybe eventually, I don't know. Um, and I, for now, I think that it's cool how the community has, has taken over and, and made it into their own thing. So, um, yeah, somebody made not so very base game. Yeah. There's lots of, you just Google it. You can find all kinds of stuff like that. Um, but for me, it would be more fun for me, I think, to make like a different challenge altogether and sort of let the, this one exist as it is without changing it. No, I never saw it becoming this popular. <laughs> you guys have to understand that like when I made this, first of all, I was 17 years old. I was still in high school. Obviously my channel was significantly smaller. Like I don't think that people started playing Not So Berry because they like Lil Simsy. Like, a lot of people that play Not So Berry don't know that I made it and don't associate it with Lil Simsy. Like it kind of have a, has a mind of its own and a life of its own. And I never foresaw anyone else playing it. Like me and my friend Zoe, when we, wrote, when we wrote it together, it was like, we want to do this. So we're going to make this for us and like make this silly play on Berry Sims and like do this silly colorful challenge. Like that it was like a, we're going to do this for funsies and like never anticipated that anyone else would ever play it because why would I think that? Um, but it's on your Tumblr blog. I know people still don't know, realize every day I talk about not so very people are like, you wrote that. <laughs> they just don't know. But yeah, I never thought anyone was going to play it. Um, the inspo for the name. This is another thing that kind of doesn't age well. Cause most of you guys don't know what we're talking about when we say this, but, um, the inspo for the name is at the time, Barry Sims were extremely popular. Um, like extremely popular on Tumblr. Um, and a berry sim is like, if you made like a strawberry sim, they'd be like all pink, all strawberry. Like their skin's pink, their hair's pink, their eyes are pink, everything's pink, they're a strawberry. Like the sim is a strawberry, right? Um, and the, the play on not so berry is it's like, like kind of like a berry sim because it's a color theme, but it's not like that extreme, <laughs> you know? Um, it was like, like a play on like a joke about berry sims almost, um, a little bit. But a lot of people don't, weren't around with then, so they wouldn't know. But if you were around when Barry Sims were around, it would make more sense to you. Um, but it's, a, yeah, it's a play on the Barry Sims and kind of like laughing at Barry Sims. Not like in a ha ha Barry Sims, but in like a, it's kind of similar, but not quite to Barry Sims, you know? It's a Barry Sim joke. Um, but you wouldn't really remember if you weren't there. So not that extreme makes an all peach house. <laughs> okay, it's a little extreme, but. It could be worse. It could be worse. Is there a video that explains it? Um, no, not like a separate video. I've talked about it a million times. I just explained it just now. <laughs> if you need more than that, if you, it's like each generation is its own thing. So you might want to read the rules. Um, but anyway, anyway, that's how it works basically. Um, I would like to put, maybe like this will be the garden I was talking about, yeah. Not totally one color, that would just be too far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Berry Sims I think might have been more popular even in like The Sims 3 days, exactly Christine, because we had the color wheel back then. It might have been even more popular back then. So this is something that a lot of people who maybe play The Sims now wouldn't remember because we don't have the color wheel, so you can't do it as... I mean, you can, but you just... You can't achieve it to the same extreme degree. <laughs> you can't achieve it to that same extreme degree that many of us desire if you're trying to make a very Sim. Okay. I would like to erase this. I think a small little bit of garden will be good. Okay. When The Sims 4 came out and there were debates on how to continue Barry Sims, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love The Sims community, it's so fun. 
I miss those days. Oh, when The Sims 4 came out, so many of us were so mad. We were like, they ruined it. <laughs> and now we all play it, but a lot of us were really upset back then. Um, I mean, think about it. It was missing a lot of things. No color wheel, no toddlers, no ghosts, no pools. Like, it was rough back then. It was real rough. Okay. I always talk about how The Sims 3 is my favorite Sims game, but like, when I say that, I mean, I don't mean like ever over The Sims 4. Cause I, I think that like the truth is I've played The Sims 4 more than I ever played The Sims 3. The Sims 4 is like my literal life, <laughs> you know? Um, I have a lot of nostalgia for The Sims 3 and I love everything about The Sims 3, but The Sims 4 is my true favorite Sims game. I just love to play The Sims 3 now and, and look back on it and, and stuff. But The Sims 4, uh, it's a really good game and I think it's just getting better and better with time. So there's still things I miss about The Sims 3, but The Sims 4 is special to me as well. <laughs> the Sims 4 came without toddlers. You might be joking, but uh, if you didn't know, yeah. <laughs> the Sims 4 got toddlers um, years after it first came out. Multiple years after it first came out. Very different back then. Okay. I feel like you missed out by, by not being around in the old Sims eras. Yeah, I feel like I missed out on The Sims 2 a little bit. Um, Cause I didn't play The Sims 2 when I was a kid. We didn't have a computer or anything. So it's not really my fault. Um, I need to use different flowers cause these are too similar. But I still feel like I missed out a little bit on The Sims 2. I've played The Sims 2 as an adult. Like I, it's not like I've never played it, but. Um, I didn't, I didn't experience the era appropriately, you know? And I can acknowledge that it's fun and like appreciate the game and stuff, but still feel like I didn't, I didn't get to experience it appropriately. The Sims 2 is pretty cool. You can't even buy it anymore. <laughs> so even if you wanted to go back and play it, sorry. You can you can buy like secondhand physical copies of The Sims 2, but you can't get your hand. I like the color, but I don't like the shape. Um, you can buy secondhand physical copies, but you can't buy The Sims 2 on Origin or anything anymore. They have retired it. Isn't that horrible? <laughs> you can draw a direct line from watching your sister and her friend play The Sims 2 to watching Twitch streams. Isn't that so funny how this has turned out? Okay. And now you're here every day. <laughs> you can acquire it. You, you can acquire The Sims 2. And I don't even think that it's wrong to talk about that because it's like abandonware. So I don't really see there being anything wrong with talking about um, acquiring it. <laughs> can buy it on Mac. Yeah, you can, you can buy the Mac version. It's a different version. The reason that it's still on Mac um, instead of on PC, by the way, is it has to do with, and uh, forgive me for my like not complete understanding of this, but it has to do with um, an encoder that they used for it or something, and they've lost the rights to it. Um, but that, like that's an issue with the PC version and not with the Mac version, which is why they have um, the PC version's not for sale and the Mac version is. So that's why it's been abandoned because it's been out for so long that video codec. There you go. That's the right word. <laughs> we need Dika for this. I can never remember what it was, but it's it's a video codec. I think that they're missing the the rights to. So isn't that weird? The Mac version isn't. It's not like the full version though, right? Isn't it missing some packs or something? At least it's there. It's better than nothing, but. It's not quite right. It still has a lot at least. Um, haven't seen Dika recently. Yeah, he's been really busy. He's been really busy, um, IRL stuff, so. Um, Dika is going to TwitchCon, so you know who's going to be seeing Dika? Me. <laughs> he's around, he's just been busy um, during stream time and stuff a lot recently. 
Um, okay. It happens. We all have different, you know, seasons of life where we're, we got a lot going on and stuff. When is TwitchCon? In a couple weeks, actually. TwitchCon is pretty soon. I'm getting excited. I'm also getting really nervous, to be honest, <laughs> but I'm getting excited about TwitchCon too. Um, TwitchCon, uh, conventions always, I'm excited to go, but anytime it gets up close to the convention, I start to be like, oh God, I'm going to a convention. <laughs> you know, like I, it sort of hits me like, oh yeah, I, I'm going to a convention. <laughs> and then I get scared. <laughs> Nicole Valid, Farrah, thank you for the subs. Kind of nervous. That makes sense, Marissa. It's it's really easy when you're going to like a in-person event for the first time, especially because like, think about this, right? A lot of the, the mods are all going to be there. But beyond that, it's like a lot of like friends and community members and like people that we as a group sort of know are going to be there and then you meet them in person for the first time and you have some anxiety. Anytime you meet someone new for the first time, even though they're a friend you've had for years, it's kind of scary to meet like an online friend in person for the first time. So you just get kind of anxious about that. And I have some like serious imposter syndrome and a lot of anxiety about like, um, I when I meet viewers, I want them to have a good experience, you know, to like the best of my ability. And so um, I have a lot of anxiety about like doing meet and greets at conventions because like, I don't want people to have a bad experience, and so I, I, anyway, I just get really nervous about it, so. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm kind of scared, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun. How can someone not like you? You're so sweet. Well, I don't know. I don't mean it like that. I mean, like, what if I don't live up to people's expectations in person? Like, they have, like, this vision of Lil Simsy, and I'm... I'm Kayla, <laughs> you know? And like, I don't think that they're different that much, but like, I I have anxiety and like, I'm kind of awkward in person. And like, it's easier to be like this when you're sitting in your room and not like at a convention super out of your element and nervous. So anyway, I think that makes sense. So I think everybody kind of experiences that, but I just get nervous <laughs> for that reason. But everybody does. <laughs> Everybody does, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. If any of you are going to be there, I have a panel and a meet and greet both on Saturday at TwitchCon, so. Okay, do I plan on going to any conventions in Europe? I went to TwitchCon in Europe um, a couple years ago, before COVID. I went to TwitchCon when it was in Berlin a couple years ago. Um, I wanted to go to TwitchCon in Paris this year, but I ended up uh, being too stressed out and busy to travel. I even had to, um, I even had to uh, not go to Dan's friend's wedding because I had so much going on. And it ended up being a really good thing because um, the horse pack came out. So it was actually good timing that I decided not to go. <laughs> um, but I would like to go to, to TwitchCon in Europe next year. Um, but we shall see. We shall see. It was cool when it was in Berlin, though. I had never been to Berlin before, obviously. Um, so that was kind of fun. Um, oh, yeah, DD. Big conventions are scary, aren't they? I cannot plan a year in advance. You have no clue where you'll be. Yeah, you've got so much going on, Brew. That's hard. Um, where is TwitchCon? This TwitchCon's in Vegas. <laughs> this TwitchCon is going to be in Vegas, which is interesting. Um, it should be fun to, to see how that goes. I'm looking forward to it. Almost the entire group of us who play Among Us is going to be there at TwitchCon, with the exception of a couple folks. Um, not all, uh, Kayla and Eggie and Kiki aren't able to go this time, but, um, most people who play Among Us with us are going to be there. So it's gonna be really fun. I haven't met a lot of them in person. Like, I'm gonna see Momo for the first time in real life. Um, it's gonna be really fun. Actually, can I show you guys something? <laughs> Shella Drew, we, we keep making jokes, um, our friends and I, about, um, because we were talking about the shark who climbed on stage at, uh, VidCon when I was doing the panel, um, and how I was, like, kind of nervous about doing a panel again after that happened, um, <laughs> and then Momo was like, don't worry, you have me, your scary goth friend, <laughs> no one's going to approach you when you've got your scary goth friend, 
<laughs> and so we kept making jokes about Momo being my scary goth friend. And look at what Shella drew. You're gonna laugh out loud at this. This is me and my scary goth friend. <laughs> I thought it was really funny. <laughs> yeah, so good meme. I'm excited to meet Momo in person. It'll be fun. <laughs> Thank you, Shella. Shella's always very uh, timely and quick with drawing of the memes, you know? It's impressive. <laughs> Why are they on a toddler leash? I don't know. I don't know. Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> For safety, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> my, um, my friends are, uh, linked in the chat, by the way, if you want to follow them. Emo, not goth. Okay, well, I'm, I'm using, um, Momo's wording right now. <laughs> Momo refers to themselves. Uh, as, as my scary goth friend. Momo said that themselves. <laughs> For Momo's safety or the safety of those around them? I don't know. Good question. This is too big. So that's no good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Won't barrels be smaller? I guess that's true. We could get the barrels instead. Doesn't feel as fun though. But maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Should I get a fancy like horse thing? No. No. I could get a fancy horse thing for real. I don't know. Probably not. Seems like a bad idea. Can make it slightly bigger. I don't really know if I could make it that much bigger very easily. I don't know. Oh God. Why do I have to make this so complicated for myself? And you know what else is bad? I still need my shark pond. Oh no. Shark pond. Get famous. Get famous. I need... This is really urgent. <laughs> Sneaky, thank you for the 19 months! That's funny, we were just talking about maybe how someday I might do something like that, Sneaky. Um, when is a Sims build not complicated? True. So true. Do you wear Hollow Taco? Yes, I'm wearing um, one of the Hollow Taco and Sophia nail polishes right now. Um, I get sent Hollow Taco PR. I've never been on a PR list for anything else in my entire life. Hollow Taco sends me their nail polishes every time there's a new release. They send me the box every new release. I have every Hollow Taco polish ever because they send them to me every single time. And it happened because I was wearing, like I bought some and I was wearing it on stream and people were like, what is that? And I was like, oh, it's Hollow Taco. And then someone went and told Christine in one of her streams. And then I got added to the PR list. I got an email that was like, we heard you like Hollow Taco. <laughs> yeah, I do. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I do. So somebody in chat, somebody in chat is the reason for that because they went and told Christine and then like, the Hollow Taco team saw it and then started asking for my address to send it to me and now I just get it. Fantastic. It's truly amazing. <laughs> so it's very cool. I really- they have like honestly the best nail polish I've ever used. It's really good. Okay, Miss PR List. <laughs> I know, right? I've never been on a PR list for anything and I don't care to be on anything else's PR list either. Nail polish is all I need. Anyway, it's really nice. It's really nice. Me and Dan have matching nails right now. We both used it. Is this the one that's called Feeling Fiendish? I forget the shade names. Um, but anyway, it's really nice. And Dan and I have matching nails right now. <laughs> okay, I don't know where I'm gonna put that yet. We'll have to see. I think the backyard is coming together though. It's starting to make sense. It's starting to make sense. This is good. 
Okay, do you guys want to start furnishing the inside? Oh, I should pick doors. I should pick doors. Where's the lot? Oh, this lot is in Tartosa. We are in Tartosa right now. I think I'm gonna use these columns for the little like fake archways that I'm creating. I kind of like that. I think that's cool, right? They're slightly different colors, these two things. Maybe I'll use the lighter one. Eh, but the white might be easier to match. I don't know. This house is huge. Oh yeah, it's really bad. We're gonna be building this forever. It's gonna be like a really, really, really long build. <laughs> Ooh, it's beige, but it's also peachy. That might be a good starting point. And then we can try and mix and match in some other like even peachier colors into it. Right? I don't know. I don't know. The new kitchen set, does it have a peachy? That's very like pink. No. It's like too, oh. Peach is so difficult. <laughs> what even is peach? What even is peach? <sighs> you know what is peach? They've got like from high school years. I don't know if I want to use it, but high school years has, um... hello. Something like this. That's kind of peachy, but I don't think that that works with that kitchen color. This is the thing, is it pink? Is it orange? Is it beige? Is it all three? <laughs> I don't know. Peach is like a pinky orange, but when you're trying to achieve it in The Sims, like you have to, it, there isn't an exact color. So you have to, it is all three. That's the answer, but like, how do we, doesn't grow in together, have a peachy tile. Maybe it does. Oh no, pink, beige. Parenthood definitely has some options, but I've been using the parenthood tile for like almost all of the things. Like I use this for the orange gen. That's just ick. The beige looked nice. Yeah, but we can't do beige. We can't do beige, it's no fun. Is the your name Princess? Yeah, her name is Princess Peach. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? I'm gonna come back to that. I don't know what I want. I'm gonna pick some doors too. Um, dream home decorator, honestly. That door is horrible, never mind. Those counters and the reddish swatch. It's too reddish though. We could do like a more plain, I don't wanna think about it right now. I don't really wanna use a beige cabinet. I, I really, really, really would like for the cabinets to fit the sort of peachy vibes. It's, it's important to me to have them be kind of peachy too. Okay, um, we have doors. All the rooms upstairs, This these rooms belong to the kids, so they can be green, which is kind of fun, because the, um, the, what's it called? Next generation is the green generation. So the kids have green rooms. Oh God. What would you think about a CC recolor of the Home Chef Hustle cabinets? I, I don't know. I feel very committed to doing all these builds without CC. It's almost like a challenge. I think that I would prefer to do it no CC. I'm open to using, if we're gonna use this wallpaper, I'm open to using the lighter cabinets. Um, this is honestly like horrendous. 
The floor tile, horrible. Like, everything about this is very ick. Very, very, very ick. I might need to get a more neutral toned floor for me to not want to cry. Maybe I'll let myself have white doors too. Let's simplify things a little bit here, okay? <laughs> If you add upper cabinets, it'll look more like a backsplash. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine once we have upper cabinets. I'm not worried about that part too much. Um, I use this in the orange house. <laughs> it's kind of fun to look at now. Um, ew. I don't know if I've ever used this wood swatch before. I suppose it's kind of new. You have no idea how I conceived peach as a color. <laughs> we were just talking about this. Um, so in Not So Berry, hold on. In Not So Berry, there's a whole bunch of different colors. We have to think of 10, right? Um, there's a few, like plum is basically just purple. There's gray, there's some normal ones, but mint is kind of like a bluish green. Rose means red. Uh, but we had to add some extras that weren't just like your standard colors, you know? Um, and so we were trying to think of options that were fun and like different and still the vibes of like the the rules. I have to go into cast so I can show you this now too. Um, but the each generation kind of tries to have all the everything match the color scheme, traits included. Um, and so in Not So Berry, um, the peach gen is supposed to be a foodie, lazy, and a goofball, okay? Um, so if I show you those traits, ever since they reorganized things, I can never find anything. Um, but you see how lazy, it's not quite peachy, but you kind of get it. It's like a, an orangey reddy color. Um, so that's kind of the, that's kind of the thought process. Um, where's goofball? Goofball is a stretch cause it's like a bunch of random colors. Um, and then the foodie one, is kind of peachy because of the the meat slices so by the time we get to the later generations they're less obvious like some of them are green for the mint gen and yellow a little bit more obvious um but you can kind of see the color story that i'm trying to tell here right <laughs> just a little bit um so we were trying kind of basing color names off of the kind of traits that we wanted to use or basing traits off of the colors that we wanted to use and it's a combination of that. I also wrote this challenge in 2017 when I was a teenager still in high school. So specific questions, I don't really remember my exact thought process at the time, okay? <laughs> no, this is just a random Sim, Drew. You think I dress a Sim in this outfit? <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is just a quick add another Sim to the household. You know this default Sim? I'm honestly insulted that you think I would make a Sim like this. <laughs> Just a, one of the default sims. Um, you were in high school in 2017? I graduated high school in 2017, yeah. Um, there isn't a black or a brown gen. No, there's a gray one. We, we only wait until 10, so we didn't add extra after that. Um, people have made not so very extendeds that have that sort of thing though. Um, so, have I stopped playing Dreamlight Valley? No! <laughs> I never, I always get so stressed when people ask me that. Why did you quit Animal Crossing? I didn't! <laughs> there's just a lot of games that I wanna play and not enough time, okay? Um, there's too many games that I wanna play and there's not enough hours in the day to play them all. I did not, I did not quit anything, okay? Promise. <laughs> okay, I think I like this combo together. I think that I can, I think that I can do this. Um, okay, 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 okay. Um, do you want to start with the bathroom? It might be kind of fun. Well, I played Animal Crossing a couple days ago on stream, Grave. <laughs> I played Animal Crossing a couple days ago. Um, what? You can't play everything at once? <laughs> I wish. I wish, I wish, I wish. People ask me all the time, why did you quit this? What are you, why haven't you done this in ages? When are you gonna do it again? And it's like, I don't know. I just, there's too many games I wanna play. And then I play those games and then they're like, why aren't you playing The Sims? <laughs> there are different people that have those comments, but 
It is kind of funny, no matter what I do. <laughs> Can't win. <laughs> um, ew. Oh god, you guys, the peach wallpaper situation is a little bit not good. We had previously used this wallpaper in one of the bedrooms for their brother. Maybe I could steal it and use it for this room. Okay. You know how you can play two games at once on the Samsung Odyssey Neo G9 57-inch dual UHD 4K monitor? You're right, Wizard Swamp. You're right about that. This today's stream is not sponsored, by the way. I did two sponsored streams for them and I'm done with them now, but I did post a video today about it. <laughs> That's how you can play two games at once. You know why? Because it's a dual input. So I can have my Switch and my PC input at the same time into the same monitor. It's like it's two monitors, but it's just one. <laughs> No, you're fine, Lime Pie, don't worry. People are just funny on the internet about this kind of stuff, aren't they? Um, they're just kind of funny about it. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, I don't know about tile still, oh my god. It's your birthday, happy birthday, 90s, cool! Um, you know, Megan, so... I, people ask this all the time too if I play games in my free time. For the most part, I, like, my free time, first of all, recently has been taken up by cats. So the answer is no. Um, <laughs> I don't do anything uh, in here, in my office, when I'm not, like, streaming or recording because I've been with the cats for, like, months <laughs> or since I found them. <laughs> um, but for the most part, like, if I have this deep desire to play a game, I have a lot of fun streaming games. Like I really like to stream. Like yesterday, um, for example, yesterday I was busy all day, so I didn't have a lot of time to stream. So I went live at 7 a.m. because I really wanted to play Fay Farm at some point yesterday. And like, I, I could have just canceled stream, right? Cause I was busy, but I was like, I'm, I want to play a game. <laughs> So I went live at 7 a.m. so that I could play the game, but like I could have just played off stream, I guess um, But I don't really think of it in terms of like a making money thing Elegant, it's more just like a I like to play games on stream because it's fun Like it's really fun to hang out together with people and like chat and talk about stuff and like Play stuff together. There's it's just it, it there is something really fun and special about that. Oh, this is cute together I think we figured it out um, but yeah, it's not, it's, um, I don't really think of, like, streaming in a making money sense, really. Um, like that. It's more just for fun. I suppose that's because my, my main source of income is from my YouTube channel, so I don't really, like, think of Twitch as a job in that way. I don't know. I love doing YouTube, too, so I don't want you guys to think that I, like, think of YouTube as a job, and it's, you know, but I... Anyway, my main source of income is YouTube, so I associate that more with that than with Twitch, so. I do have a fun job. I do have a fun job. <laughs> I got very lucky. <laughs> um, what do I think if the Sims team made Sims 4 into the future? Oh my goodness. I, um... I don't really think that I want them to make an Into the Future pack for the Sims 4. I don't know. I don't think I liked it in The Sims 3 that much. So, if I use that wall tile in the kitchen, we could. I don't know. It's fun in this sort of challenge to try to incorporate as many different colors as and, and like patterns that we never use as we can. Oh, this could be interesting too. Um, rather have Into the Past. <laughs> yeah, that would be, honestly, I think I agree with you on that. I would rather have like a Sims medieval sort of style game. I don't know about a Sims medieval uh, dupe, but uh, something like that, like a historic thing would probably interest me a little bit more. But 
I don't know. I don't really think that I want either of those things, to be honest. <laughs> if I had to choose, I would probably pick past over future, but I, I think my actual answer is probably none of the above. <laughs> Says the history major. Okay, my history major kind of came out a little bit there. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Um, I don't really want those curtains in here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the new, uh, the new kit has that kind of peachy bed swatch, I remember. That'll be good for this too. Oh, this might be good. Some simple little blinds. In a simple little beige. Yeah, we are getting a medieval kit. I think it's gonna come out in, they said early 2024, right? But we are getting a, a medieval kit. But it's gonna be like a build kit. It just sucks. The problem with build kits like that, right? Is that every time they do a build kit specifically, it doesn't have the like, and I hope this makes sense, but it, it doesn't have like the right amount of stuff to make it fully functional for me. Like it, you have this problem even with like Realm of Magic, there's some really nice windows in Realm of Magic, but there's not enough. Or like in, in this pack, there's some really nice windows, but it's only two sizes. If we had like four or five sizes of this window and like different variants of the same swatch, like a full set of the windows, it'd be a lot easier. But in this medieval kit, I wouldn't be surprised if very similar to the Courtyard Oasis kit, we got like only two windows. And so it's really hard to use these windows on a full build because there's not enough size variation and like shape variation to have it fit in a whole space. Because you can't just use these little round windows everywhere and they don't match anything else really. So I, I have like, I think I have that worry kind of um, about the medieval kit. Like I, I fear that it's not gonna have enough to, to be a full like medieval castle, you know? But anyway, I, I wish it was just like a little bit more. <laughs> but yeah, they did a fan vote kit where we could decide between a medieval kit and a futuristic build kit, both both like build packs, and the, the medieval one won. And it's gonna be coming out in early 2024, they said. So, anyway, probably it's gonna be the next kit actually, um, which is kind of fun, I guess. You'd kill from medieval stuff pack instead of a kit. Yeah, I would just like to have more. I think it's a really fun concept, so I would like to have more as well. I'm I'm with you on that. Anyway, goth and medieval. Yeah, it, there's a cast kit vote too, and and goth won the cast one. Okay. I think the castle kit should come with hedge mazes. <laughs> so into hedge mazes recently. There's been like so much talk about hedge mazes. The chat is loving it. You're happy goth one, you voted for it? Yeah, I voted for the medieval kit. I um, I went back and forth a lot on the, the build kit cause I, or sorry, on the cast one cause I really didn't have a preference. I really wasn't sure. Um, I didn't mind either way. Green Gen can have a hedge maze. Oh, good, you're right. We can give a hedge maze to the next generation. <laughs> oh my God. That's really funny. <laughs> okay, what about a moat? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I voted for the pastel one and over it, um, but I'm not mad about the goth kit. I just don't care about cast packs. Like, I I've never I've never seen them do a cast pack that I've been like, oh my god, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> like, every time I've just been like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then people ask my favorite, and I'm like, eh. 
I don't know. <laughs> I just really don't care about the Kratos impacts that much. I voted for the ones that won, but I don't even buy kits. <laughs> I get that, I get that. I probably wouldn't buy any of the kits if I wasn't a YouTuber. I don't know. Um, I'm just thinking back to my childhood and like, I, I probably wouldn't have ever been able to get my mom to buy me any of them. And then like when I started having my own money, if I wasn't making YouTube videos on them, there's very few kits that would excite me enough to buy them. So, mostly the build kits are the ones that I prefer. Parenthood has a peach mirror. Oh, does it have the flowers on it? I know what you're talking about. Oh, that's kind of cute. Doesn't the mirror with the cabinet look a bit bigger and better for this though? Maybe I could use that in here. I don't know. I like having adult money to waste on The Sims. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And me and Dan both watch Drag Race, yeah. Um, Dan has a Lucy LaDuca merch shirt. Exciting stuff. <laughs> there are benefits to having adult money, and it's The Sims 4. As Dan should, exactly. Exactly. Um, put this here, maybe. Oh, that's not really very peachy. Maybe I could use two. Because I assume we'll have- oh, we have to have a partner because we have to meet one from the... job. So we can both have our own little thingies. That's nice. You loved being a high schooler the job because you had nothing to spend it on other than Sims and now I have to adult with it. Oh, that's true. That's true. Your money feels like it goes farther when you're younger, doesn't it? <laughs> um, okay. It's because it does go farther when you're younger. It doesn't just feel like it, it does. <laughs> oh my. Well, that's nice. It's This is the thing, these rooms are kind of beige, but now there's bills and responsibilities. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I think every day when I give Snap her uh, million dollar expensive prescription cat food now because of her kidney problems, every day I'm so thankful that I can afford it. And like I have, I'm lucky enough to be in a position where I can afford it because oh my God, it's $57 for 24 cans of her food. $57. <laughs> I'm so lucky that I like, I, I think about it every time I feed her, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but she has really expensive prescription cat food because of her kidney disease. And she just got diagnosed and like put on it like a couple months ago, but she has like really expensive <laughs> prescription cat food. And I'm so lucky that I'm able to afford it because it's really expensive. <laughs> Um, but a lot of, a lot of cats later in their life develop kidney disease. Um, people say sometimes that cats often outlive their kidneys, um, but anyway, yeah, she's on prescription cat food, so <laughs> yeah, a lot of cats have cat food for their bladder problems too, so anyway, you know what, guess what, I got a coupon code, um, for her cat food from the vet a couple days ago, um, for 16% off. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> it's 57 with the shipping, I should say, but that counts, so. But anyway, I bought three <laughs> packs of it. A 16 is a weird sale, isn't it? 16% off. Yeah. <laughs> a win is a win. <laughs> but it's it's Hill's prescription cat food. Hill's science diet. KD is what Snap is on. Hey Hills! You interested in influencer marketing? <laughs> anyway. Um. <laughs> Big fan of your cat food. <laughs> Steffi really likes it. She thinks it's delicious. 
16 is better than 15, that's true, that's true. Okay, I like that little bathroom. Why am I spending so much time on bathrooms right now? Oh my god, you guys, this build's gonna take us years to finish. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking, these rooms, normally I would decorate the bathrooms to match the generation, but the kids, the kids are gonna be part of the green generation. So maybe I could, f oh, you know what we should do actually, stop. Let's not furnish the upstairs until later. Let's wait on the upstairs until we furnish the rest of the house in case we're out of money because I don't need to buy stuff for the kids yet. We can prioritize the rest of the house first. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry. Snap needs to become an influencer so she can get sponsored. I've been trying. I've been trying. <laughs> Pizza party! Pizza party goes! That what you what was that you said about a fifty-seven dollar cat food? That number sounds familiar. Almost like a fifty-seven inch monitor from Samsung. <laughs> Today's stream is not sponsored by Samsung. <laughs> I signed a contract for two streams and two of YouTube videos. <laughs> Today's stream is not sponsored. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Maybe it should be Samsung. I'm open to continuing our partnership. <laughs> oh my goodness. Does Snappy have an Instagram? Yeah, but I haven't posted on it in years. I've been thinking about posting on it again because now I've got extra kittens. We could have like three to, to fill up the page, but I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Um, okay. Get all this little cute decorations. Hey Hills, my cat is obsessed with the teeth version of your food. I love the Hills science diet. Let me tell you, there's nothing better. I'm really glad though, Snap actually does like the, her, her new fancy cat food. I was worried that she wasn't gonna like it um, and it was gonna be like a whole thing. Cause before, this is so morbid. I'm sorry to even bring this up. I'm okay, emotionally I'm doing a little better, a little better. But before my parents' cat passed away a couple weeks ago, um, before we knew that it was cancer um, and he was just sick, they thought that he had like some stomach problems because he was throwing up a lot. Um, and we were like, maybe it's an allergy. Maybe he has like a stomach issue. So we were gonna try and put him on some sensitive stomach cat food um, and he hated it, he hated it. He would not eat it, but luckily it turns out he didn't eat it because actually he was dying, so. <laughs> oh, anyway, it's not funny, but it is a little bit. <laughs> he ended up not having to be on that food though. He could have regular food that he thought was delicious, so. <laughs> a win is a win, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Your cat did the same, great, excellent. <laughs> Anyway, I miss you, Pokey. You were the best little guy. But yeah, he he um he wouldn't eat his prescription cat food, so luckily he didn't eat it. <laughs> oh, I spent so much on vet bills and he just died too. Like WTF? <laughs> I'm sorry, nuclear. You have to laugh. You have to laugh through the pain. If you can't joke about it, then like, how can we go on? You know. <laughs> Oh, it's terrible. Okay, um, let's see. I'm gonna use this again. I used it in the other room, but it's just so cute, so I'm gonna use it again. Laugh through the pain, laugh through the pain. <laughs> Did the terrain paint delete? No! Oh my god, what is wrong with this game? Yes, the terrain paint did delete. Well, I reloaded probably when I went to go check and cast to talk about not so very. I didn't do that much terrain paint. That's so annoying though. Why game, why? <laughs> You're hurting my feelings. <laughs> okay. Yours never deletes. Well, that must be nice. <laughs> You've never had that glitch. <sighs> why does it happen to me so often? It happens when I reload the lot. I know that. I know that. Um, okay, well now's a good time. I have a fun little announcement for you all. Um, Comfy Sammy, a chat member, 
actually bought a couple giveaway codes for us <laughs> um, and has given us uh, a giveaway code for two kits. And I was thinking I'd do one of the giveaways today and one of them tomorrow. Um, thanks to Sammy, which is so kind. I've been using some clutter and Sammy bought one of the everyday clutter kits. So I might do a little everyday clutter kit code because uh, Comfy Sammy has so generously um, bought them for us, which is super cool. By the way, none of you have to do that. Don't ever feel obligated to do that. I just got a message from my mods that was like, here, look. And then I was like, wow, that's amazing. But don't feel like you have to do that. <laughs> um, don't feel like you have to do that. I buy giveaway codes too. So I don't want you guys to feel like you should spend money on it. But uh, it was very generous of Sammy to do. So let me see. Um, what should the giveaway word be? Okay, I know. This is a classic. Okay, if you would like to enter for a chance to win the Everyday Clutter Kit, um, this is a PC and Mac code, so it'll work globally, but on computers. You can type the word cow plant in the chat for a chance to win. The Everyday Clutter Kit is a really good one. It's got, um, as you might anticipate, some everyday clutter. <laughs> Things like this little thing for the front door, lots of cute stuff like that. So um, you can type that word cow plant in the chat for a chance to win the Everyday Clutter Kit. Yay. All you gotta do is type it once, don't worry. You don't have to spam it or anything. Everybody gets just one entry. Um, as long as you type the word cow plant once, you'll, you'll be entered for a chance to win. And I did enter, so hopefully I win. <laughs> hopefully I win. <laughs> this has been a fun stream, by the way, chat. It was every time, listen, I say it with love, but every time Candidly Kayla is around, there, there's something going on. There's something wild going on. <laughs> like Kayla comes into my chat earlier. If you weren't here, my friend Kayla came into the chat earlier and she was like, hey, can you help me for a couple minutes? And I was like, yeah, what do you, what do you need? <laughs> and she calls me and she was trying to figure out this glitch with some terrain manipulation in a pool she was trying to build. <laughs> so we spent like the first 15 minutes of the stream trying to solve this, this terrain problem. Kind of fun. And she's still here. So she heard me say that. But I, I say it with love. It's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't follow Kayla, my mods can link her in the chat too. She's a very dear friend of mine um, and her streams are a lot of fun. So I think that you would like, you would like them. I always say this, but like, if you like one Kayla, one Sims Kayla, you'll probably like the other Sims Kayla, you know, like it's, <laughs> you already like one, what's another? You might as well follow us both, right? Anyway, type the word cow plant in the chat for a chance to win the Everyday Clutter Kit. Um, and I'm sorry that I spent so long on this. Yikes, we are not even close to being done. But I always say this, with these builds, half the battle is figuring out the shell and like the shape and stuff. So now that we have the whole yard and everything thought about, it's gonna be a lot easier to furnish. So when we play this again, um, I think I'm gonna build this again on, oh no. I've complicated things. Okay, Monday. And we have to really work hard to get it done on Monday because I also have to build a haunted house so I can post a haunted house speed build soon. I was planning on posting a haunted house video while I was at TwitchCon, so I have to finish a haunted house quick too. Okay, and tomorrow we're doing townhouses. Oh my God. All right, we got three big builds to finish, chat, <laughs> in the next few, few days. <laughs> no, no, haunted house is for Tuesday. This is for Monday. I was just looking at my schedule. I had Haunted House 1 and Haunted House 2 written down on my schedule though. But actually it's gonna be not so buried too. And tomorrow is townhouses. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Townhouses tomorrow, this on Monday. We got this, it's fine. Why do I keep making these big houses? <laughs> the townhouses will be fun tomorrow though, okay. Last chance, you can type that word cow plant in the chat for a chance to win the everyday clutter kit if you would like to. Um, it's a PC and Mac code. And then I'm gonna draw the winner here in about five seconds. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Draw and trend. No way. No way. <laughs> you guys, I can't make this up. It's one of my mods. <laughs> it's C. <laughs> You think redraw? I feel bad, see. See, can I get, can, I will buy you a code for another pack. I will buy, if you want me to redraw, I'll buy you a code for another pack because you won fair and square. Okay, so you telling me to redraw. <laughs> Drugs bunny, wow. 
Oh, C has all the packs. Okay. So C won uh, and entered like I do, even though we already have them. Anyway, that's really funny. In all of my years, I've never had a mod win on one of those giveaways. Well, congratulations, Bunny. I'm going to wish for you uh, your copy of the code so that your copy of the code, your copy of the pack. It's a weird way of describing it. I'm going to whisper you the code, though, so that you could download it. If you could just reply to my Twitch whisper so I know you've seen it, that'd be great. Um, thanks for Skeen for getting me the message ready. Yay, that's really funny, though, <laughs> that you won. <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes when your name popped up just then. I was like, what the heck? But Bunny, Bunny just got my DM. Yay! I hope you like it. It's a fun pack. The Everyday Clutter Kit is pretty fun, so. Um, you also entered when you own the kit already? I know. We really shouldn't do that. We really shouldn't do that. But you just never think you're gonna win. There's like hundreds, if not a thousand entries sometimes in these giveaways. Like, you never, you never think you're gonna win. And then one of your Twitch mods wins. Kayla, I emailed Hill Science and told them to sponsor you! <laughs> They're probably like, I don't want anything to do with this Sims thing. I would, that would make me, I would love that actually, if they would um, get back to us. So thank you Hills Science for, for that. You never know. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm gonna get off stream in a few minutes here probably, but I wanna get a little bit more work done on the build first. Um, Mama and Christelle and Rogue and Coco, thank you for the subs by the way. Um. Should we? Oh, this was gonna be the office. Maybe I'll work on the office. We have plenty of cat, con cat content, that's true. We do have plenty of cat content. And it's your birthday, Chloe! Congratulations, happy birthday. That's exciting. Hi, Shella. How are you? I hope you are doing well. Um, is there, there actually is a peachy, wait, from high school years? There actually is a peachy bookshelf. I just don't know if I wanna use this in the office because I don't feel like it's, I don't feel like it's fancy enough, you know? But there is a PG bookshelf that could be used. That's definitely pink. Without a doubt, that is pink. Hmm. About to go to Target? Oh, what are you gonna get at Target? Anything good planned? Why does it feel like this bookshelf is almost kind of peachy? Do you know what I mean? Groceries? Oh, that's exciting stuff. That is really exciting stuff. I got groceries yesterday, not to brag. <laughs> so I'm just saying, <laughs> I got groceries too. I didn't get them at Target though. Um, Target's like, it's not far away, but it's like a little too far away for my liking. Um... You very much need to get groceries, but lazy. Yeah, I was, we were really running low on groceries for a bit there. Just save your house to the gallery and move it IRL. Oh, okay, Shella. That seems like a really smart and logical idea. Okay, that's leaning kind of pink, but if we get a nice mix of, oh, this is cute. I was gonna say, if we get a nice mix of pink and orange in here, There's a new Target opening closer to you soon. Oh, that's exciting stuff. I'm actually like genuinely really happy for you. <laughs> that's gonna be so nice. Um, your Target lets you place a Starbucks order when they bring out your drive-up order? Oh no, that is dangerous. I've never done a drive-up order at Target. I imagine that things are different when you've got a kid, because you probably, Christine, I bet you, like, it's just easier to drive up, but I've never done one. So now I never will, because I'm too nervous. The thought of doing a new thing really freaks me out, so I can't. I just can't. And you know what? If I'm being honest with you guys, I still, I have a target that's closer to me, like, from, to where I moved to. I moved here a year ago, okay? But to this day, I still prefer to go to the Target by my old house, like the Target that I grew up going to, because it's just a superior Target. And it's actually not, because they renovated the Target near me, the, the new Target is renovated near me, but I still, I feel better in the other Target. 
It just feels more right, you know? Any other target feels wrong. <laughs> it's familiar, it's safe, it's comfortable. It's a good one, you know? <laughs> target loyalty is a very valid thing. Yeah, and it's like way farther away. So, emotional support target. <laughs> you always go to the worst target for comfort. Yeah, you understand, you get in. It makes sense. We're all the same deep down. You couldn't do a drive through car wash by yourself for the first time because it scared you. <laughs> I also have never done drive through car wash. I'm too scared of that also. I, guys, can I tell you something? Don't laugh. I have never in my adult life been to a drive through like, like a fast food place. I don't do that. I can't do that. I'm too scared. In my defense, most places, I don't go like to fast food places because what am I going to eat there? Nothing. Exactly. So can't do that. And I don't drink coffee, so I don't go to Starbucks. So I've never done a drive through as an adult. <laughs> I'm too scared. So I won't do it. You went from being scared of drive throughs to being scared of walking in places. Oh, I don't walk into places either. I don't go places. <laughs> I would rather walk in somewhere though. Like if you could like order for pickup and then like walk in to pick it up, that's my preference. Cause I'm too scared of a drive-thru. I can't explain it. I know it's illogical. I'm just too scared of a drive-thru. That's so niche. You should make it a mission to never do it. Oh, I have no plans to ever do a drive-thru. I've never even considered wanting to do a drive. It's just, I'm not doing that. I'm just not doing that. So anyway, I don't go out much though. <laughs> I can't tell you how many years of driving it took before you went to a drive-thru and then when you did it, it was a disaster and you tried to drive, without, drive away without your food. See? See? I, you get it, you get it. I don't, what if I do it wrong? I wouldn't do it wrong. I've been to the drive-thru with my, like other people driving. I just, I'm too scared to drive it myself. Not even for emergency fries. That's what the freezer and air fryer are for. <laughs> anyway, I can't, I don't go to fast food places, obviously, because I can't eat at most of them. So I just, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. One time, my sister, I probably shouldn't tell this story on the internet. It's not nice. I'll tell you anyway. My sister is better now. She's only a child. She's only 18. But one time, my sister, she, um, she was, when she had her permit still, she went to the Starbucks drive-thru with my dad in the car and she was driving. <laughs> and when she went to pull up to get her drink, she opened the door or she went open the window and like went to reach out to get her drink, but she didn't put her foot on the brake. So the car just kept rolling as she was leaning out the window trying to get her drink. And then it just kept rolling. My dad was like, stop, 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 stop. And then no one was there. She didn't hit anything. It was fine. But it just rolled like too far forward. <laughs> So she had to park the car, get out and walk backwards to the window to get her drink. And the person in the window said, are you a new driver? <laughs> yeah, she is. She just, she just got her permit. <laughs> Isn't that so embarrassing? Anyway, I, I can never do a drive through Look what's in my blood. Like my sister's like that. I probably do. I wouldn't do anything dumb like that. I'm too careful. I wouldn't do that. But anyway, it's pretty funny. <laughs> she does drive throughs though. She's fine. She can still do it. <laughs> she can still do it. The way I would never drive again after that. Oh yeah. I w it would take me a long time to get back in the driver's seat after that. I would be really stressed about that. She's so brave. But my sister likes driving and I have driving anxiety and waited until I was 21 to get my license. So like, we're just different a little bit deep down. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. I probably should stop making fun of my sister and leave. <laughs> she went back for the drink, I'd zoom away. I probably would have left too. By the time I let the car roll past them while I was leaning out, I would have just, I would have just kept going. I would have just taken the loss. 
one drink, that's fine. You can have the money, Starbucks. It's okay. You just keep it. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> you messed you for the 38 month reset, by the way. Oh no. You went to a drive-thru once and went through without paying by accident. You had to park and explain to them and pay indoors. No! One time my sister, I forgot about this. I'm so sorry, I'm being so mean. But one time my sister, very similar thing. My sister was at the Panera drive-thru with my dad. My dad loves Panera. It's like his favorite place. The guy loves Panera. But they were at the Panera drive-thru and my sister was driving and she ordered. And this Panera, it's not like, you know how some drive throughs um, they have like a curb, so you're kind of trapped in. There is a, you can drive straight to get out or you could turn like around the corner and curve up to go to the window, right? My sister ordered and then without thinking, just went straight and left just left the drive-thru. And then they had to go back and be like, I'm sorry, we ordered and then my daughter drove out of the drive-thru. <laughs> she just left. She wasn't thinking, she said, oh, I ordered and then she just left. <laughs> and then they had to go back and say, um, <laughs> that was us. <laughs> anyway, this was when she was just, just practicing driving, like 15, has her permit, fresh license, like, she was new. Now I see why you were scared of drive throughs Yeah, but I was scared before she started doing silly things. I've always been scared. Cause this was like two years ago, and I've been scared of drive throughs since I was 16. So, yeah. No, my sister's not a bad driver. I don't want you guys to think that she's a bad driver. She just made a couple silly choices in drive throughs specifically. Specifically drive throughs There's never been any other issue. So. <laughs> anyway. Okay, we probably should get off stream, huh? <laughs> I should probably stop talking about- I have one more thing to say! Oh my god, this is so funny. You guys are gonna laugh out loud about this. Okay, so yesterday, my mom texts me, and she's like, Grandma just called in a panic because she said that people were saying, I hope your mom's okay. So what, like what happened? She was watching your stream and she, she heard everyone saying, I hope your mom's okay. And I was like, I have no clue why grandma thought, like, I've, I don't know what she's talking about. Like I never said anything about my mom on stream. Like I have no idea what she's talking about. And then I remembered yesterday I, so I recorded the video I posted yesterday, a few days ago, but yesterday I posted a video in a weenie suit on YouTube and Nancy Landgrab died. And I said to Malcolm, so sorry about your mom. Cause she died. She got killed in a fire. My grandma must have misunderstood, <laughs> heard me wrong. And she thought I was talking about my mom and that the chat was like, I'm so sorry about your mom. So she, two things thought, that the video was my stream and also thought that Nancy Langrab was my mom. But she must've just mis misheard or like not been watching carefully or like, like not paying attention and then heard like, so sorry about your mom. And then been like, your mom? What's wrong with your mom? And then called my mom being like, is everything okay? But everything's fine. It was Nancy, it was Nancy. But yeah, yesterday I was like, what is she talking? What is she talking about? It was Nancy. She was talking about Nancy. I get it. It's confusing. Uh, she doesn't fully understand like the difference between like my streams and my videos because because I post my streams on YouTube and she subbed to like both my channels. So like I, I it's confusing. No, it's my mom's mom. My mom's mom. My dad's mom doesn't watch my videos. My my mom's mom, my grandma on my mom's side. She sometimes watches my streams live on Twitch. Like when I'm doing charity streams or like special things, she's always here. Like watching. So, um, anyway, <laughs> it was kind of cute, but my, my dad's mom doesn't know how to get here. <laughs> so I don't think grandma's here right now, but if she, if she watches this VOD back on YouTube later, hi grandma. <laughs> hi grandma. <laughs> it wasn't the stream where my mom, I, that, that was my first thought too, rubber ducky. Cause my mom called me and was like when I was still live. And so I was confused. So I thought it was that, but then my mom said, she said you were in a weenie suit. 
And I was like, oh my god, she means Nancy. But my grandma saw that it was the weenie suit video specifically. She knew it was the weenie suit. She mentioned the weenie suit out loud. So that's how I know it was that and not my mom calling because that was my first thought too. Anyway, so silly. <laughs> it made me laugh. So I thought you would like that. The suit vid would help remembering, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She said you were in a weenie suit. Yeah. It's kind of embarrassing when you think about like a person in real life seeing you like that, you know? Oh well, it's too late now. It's like, I'll, I'll post the video, it'll get 100,000 views on YouTube and it doesn't matter to me. But then I find out like my neighbor watched it and it's like, oh God. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> you saw that? Just feels different, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, Riff, thanks for 17 months. Okay, I'm gonna go find someone to raid. Um, oh, I know, I know, I know. Oh. Well, that's no good. Look, that's a BRB screen. <laughs> my friend, um, my friend Maggie is doing a subathon. She's in, doing five hours into the subathon, but she's live doing a subathon and I kind of want to go watch. I'll raid her anyway. When she gets back, we'll be there. It'll be fine. Um, but she's been live for five hours, so I'm not surprised she's on a BRB screen, but I'm going over there. I'm going to go say hi. <laughs> we'll surprise her when she gets back. We'll be waiting. <laughs> but I'll see you all tomorrow. We're going to work on finishing the townhouses build tomorrow, I think. So we'll do that. Um, and then that'll be fun. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Thank you for hanging out. Happy Friday. I have fun with this build. I'm looking forward to finishing it. It's turning out kind of cute. Um, and I'll see you later. Okay? Okay. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Stop.